Yo, yo, yo. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. What's really, really? We back, man. We back. You know, it's a little late for the people on the East Coast and, you know, Central time. You know what I mean? It's 1030 my time, 1130 stews. You know, still going to be up to like two in the afternoon tomorrow anyway. You already know how he rock. But um, what's good to everybody, man? Wipe them feet. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, man. Stu, what's good with you, big bro? How you doing, man? <clears throat> well, first of all, I want to apologize to everybody that when I was supposed to be on the live on Saturday. Uh, we ain't going to talk about this shit no more, man. Well, no. I'm just saying, no. I mean, shit. I just want to let people know that I had, you know, my daughter's birthday and then me and the wifey got in an argument and I flung our wedding picture into my fucking flat screen TV and broke that motherfucker. And, you know, so. Well, that's the greatest way to start the show right there. Man. There we go. So that's, right, that's, right, that's, why right. why that's why I couldn't make it. On a, <laughs> it's all so good. good you know, again, after 20 years, shit. Shit happens, man. Yep. Shit happens. As long as we're good now, that's all that matters, man. That's yep. all that matters. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. Man. Hey, we have so we, we talked a little bit on your channel. There was a lot of people all over there. So I know everybody was kind of trying to get trying to get this shit off. You know what I'm saying? But uh we got a whole new coaching staff. Me and you haven't talked since then about what's really going on. Today we just signed finally a linebackers coach. So now we need a tight ends coach, um, a, a D line coach, a running back coach. Um Three well, I, want, I want to talk about Antonio Pierce, man. I played with Antonio Pierce mm -hmm. when I was with the Giants. And yep. Antonio Pierce was a great player, a uh, great leader. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super excited to have him part of the organization. Um, came in as a free agent, worked his way up to become team captain of the Giants, then Love won it. a Super Bowl with the Giants. And a Pro Bowl. And a Pro Bowl. And then uh, – um, uh, Arizona State's head coach, uh, Herm Edwards. Herm Edwards hires him as the linebacker coach there. He's the linebacker coach for two years under Herm, and then Herb promotes him, Herm promotes him to co-defensive coordinator with him. And then after that year, Herm said, shit, it's your job, man. And he he gave him the, the title of defensive coordinator yep. alone. So if Herm vouches for the dude, and hopefully me vouching for the guy as a player – him coming in, it's. I just got to believe he's better than old man winner we had coaching the linebackers. I'm going to do this real season. quick. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to read this real quick off to everybody who's not familiar with Antonio Pierce. Yeah. Uh, we, we just yeah. hired him. Yeah. Like, like, like Stu was saying, his, that's his former teammate, um, a leader in the locker room for sure. That's what he's always been known for. I know a lot of – I know he's caught some flack in the media for, uh, you know, for some him. Some uh, shit or whatever. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, who gives a – like, they, every college does it. Let's just yeah. be real. So, you know, look, he got caught. At the end of the day, fuck it. <laughs> it is what it is. But I'm going to read this right here, man. Um, shout out to Pro Football Talk. Former NFL linebacker Antonio Pierce is headed back to the league as a coach. Um, Mike Garofalo of NFL Media reports that Pierce will be the linebacker's coach. For the Raiders, Pierce began his coaching career – as the head coach at Long Beach Poly from 2014 to 2017. His old high yeah. school. His high yep. school. Yep. Cali boy. Um, then became the linebackers coach at Arizona State. He became the associate and co-defensive coordinator alongside former Bengals head coach Marvin Lewis the next year and sole coordinator for the 2021 season. Pierce made the Washington Her roster. Herm Edwards, I thought. Well, this was, this was I think, oh, shit, I don't know. He might, he might have, he might, he might have worked under Herm too. I, I got to look up his, uh, his wiki. Her, 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 wiki. I, well, I thought Herm was, Herm was the head coach at Arizona State, and oh no, 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 no. He, they're talking about. Oh shit! Hold on, let, let me look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, Pierce, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if that's right. Pierce made the Washington roster as an undrafted free agent in 2001 and spent four years with the club before moving on for five seasons with the Giants. He won a Super Bowl and made a Pro Bowl, just like Stu just said uh, in, the, in his run with the Giants. Pierce will be working under former Giants defensive coordinator Patrick Graham in his new role. So it sounds as though you're excited about it, brother. I, I just know he I, – I have a better – I have a feeling he's going to be a little bit better than, than this – The Richard Smith? Old, old man winter over here. <laughs> I mean, when it – again, I want – 
I want guys in place that players are going to respect, not only as a football mind, but look back and go, dude, this guy fucking came up. Yeah. Free agent knows how it is to fucking grind. So you have, you have some younger players that might go for, for a coach that he's thinking like, they're like, why am I even going to try? I'm not going to make this fucking team. Like this dude, this, this, this guy's not going to keep me around, but I guarantee you everybody on that fucking uh, roster is going to go, man, I got a chance. Cause this dude, you know, as a free agent came up. So yeah. what also that's going to make not only those, undrafted guys or those you know lower round pick guys work harder it's gonna make the guys that are fucking there right now go i, I got a pretty good eye feeling that like he might replace us if if we don't do our fucking shit so it just yeah. makes it makes everybody better and again he's won a super bowl he's played at a high level he's oh, coached no. at a high level he he worked his fucking way up he didn't just get handed some shit. He was a fucking high school head coach. And then here you go, Stu, Stu. Marvin Lewis is a special advisor to Herm Edwards. Okay, okay, okay. All so right. you you were right. You two were right. Bad at, two, two badass motherfucking coaches, dude. But facts. Shout out to Raider Bob, man. Appreciate you on that, brother. What's um, up, Andy? What's good, my guys? Little bro in the building. What's good with you, King? Shit, I think it's been a minute since all three of us been on together. Shit, hell yeah. Shit, I think been. it was probably what the the last the, what the Cincinnati Raider. Game. Cincinnati, yeah, because we've been we've been on separately, but the three of us, I think, this is the first time in Cincinnati. Yeah, the Cincinnati live stream for the game. Yep, that's the last time we all three were on. Yeah. Oh, my fault. I, I was thinking, shit, that was a long time ago. But they played him in the first round of the playoffs. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my brother Raider Cody, man. What's good with you, brother? What up, fellas? New season. Let's get right. Shout out to my dog, Cody. Hey, I'm going to call you tomorrow, too, brother. I want to talk to you about the Vegas trip, what we were talking about, because uh, me and the wife are already booked, and we set we set to go for the um for the draft, man. So I definitely want to link up with you. Hey, how was dinner? Where'd you guys go eat? So we went to this place called uh, – it's called Barley and Board. Shit was fire, bro. What, what uh, is it like uh, – what what type of food is it? Um, it's, it's, it's everything. Steak, a um, little, little uppity ass, a little uppity little spot. That's all right. Okay. Shit. Yeah, yeah. But I, but I found a way. So, look. You know, you know, I always maneuver shit, right? So <laughs> I found the spot. This spot is high, like five star. It's, it's, it's a beautiful restaurant. But mm -hmm. I made sure that it was next to a spot where I can go buy me some Raider shit. So okay. what happened was, you know, we ate. And I said, babe, you know, it's, it's about 830. I'm like, let's hurry up and get out of here. She was like, well, for, for what? And I was like, um, you know, I, I want to go to Shields real quick. You know what I mean? I, I want to go. She was, like, yeah. she was like, you motherfucker. But I went and got me a new tee. You know what I'm saying? Got me a new hoodie. You know what I mean? Is that a black and gold Raiders hat? Yes. Yeah. I got I got that because I got the gold shirt under it right I now. I need that, dude. Yeah. Not, for yeah. those who want to say, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. These are our, uh, our, our original, original color. color. Yeah. yeah so I don't want to hear shit about Steelers. Dude, and Jim blah, blah, Otto blah. has a fucking, when he first started with the Raiders, it was fucking the Alameda Raiders and they were fucking black and gold. They're the seniors. Yeah. Yeah. All that shit. Cody, I got you, my brother. Also, hey, hey, Watts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that question to Stu too about uh, Rob Ryan. That's one of the main reasons I was looking forward to talk to my brother right now. But um, real quick, man, shout out to uh, Pinoy. I appreciate you, family. Thank you for becoming a member. If you guys want to become a member, hit the link up top. Welcome to the membership family, my dog. So, Andy, let me ask you, brother. I seen you. You just did a video mm -hmm. um, on Pierce. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of us. Let's be honest. I mean, I watched him play. But I wasn't too familiar with what he's done coaching wise, right? So yeah. So to hear Stu talk about what he's talking about, basically, you know, he played with him and he's a breath of fresh air. Room. Yeah, like like that lets me know I'm actually excited because I was a little nervous because I seen everybody like, oh, even Ian Rappaport was like, this one's a shocker, like a little surprising. Like he said, this one's a little surprising. Well, really? I think I think yeah. the I think the stats that um the stats this scout had put on his page, I mean, they just weren't impressive. Uh, you look at you look at all the guys that we that we uh, hired. I mean, they all got some crazy resumes. His resume as a player is insane. His resume as a coach doesn't really compare, you know. So it's like his 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 resume as a coach. I think with Arizona, he had the twenty second ranked defense, and then a year later um, was thirteenth ranked defense. Yeah. But his run stopping has always been top 15. It was like seven, seventh and 13th 
but my thing is, is, you know, we got how many, how many players on this roster have we converted from safety to linebacker? I yeah. feel like, I feel like maybe I, I, I hope, and, and maybe I can ask you this too as well, Stu. I hope that he can be able to teach that that transition. I'm not sure how many people he had to do that for from high school to college, but, you know, we got Divine Diablo. It's looking like Jonathan Abram is going to make that move, that switch. Um, really? looking, have, you, have you heard yeah. that? Yeah, they're, they're they're saying that close to sixty to seventy percent of his snaps this year will be at the position. They they he did it. Patrick Graham did it last year with Jabril Peppers. He moved yeah. him from safety primarily as a linebacker, and he was actually considered a linebacker because he played most of his time at linebacker. Okay, so he's and, um, and and I mean, who knows? I mean, I, I I think, I mean, Nicholas Morrow already made that move, but when he came into the Raiders, he was a he was a safety at Wake Forest, then became a, a linebacker. But he's a free agent, so I don't really think he'll end up coming back. But um, I mean, who knows? I like I like there's 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 two good day two linebackers that I really really want us to look after if we are not able to get one of the top two guys in the first round. And you're talking about Devin Lloyd and Dean, right? Devin Lloyd and Dean. I think Devin Lloyd's the number one. Dean is my number two. Um, I got. Wyoming's linebacker. Homer, Homer, that's my guy. And and and, and uh, Brian Asamoah from Oklahoma. I think those two guys, bro. When I watch Asamoah's tape, I was doing I was doing my homework all morning because I was like, bro, I don't think we're gonna get one of these top linebackers. So I was like, I still want us to add another one. And I was looking at him, bro. Each time he makes it makes a tackle, it's like the opponent hits a brick wall, bro. That he they the guy does not let the runner fall forward. It's either he's that's a, that's, a, that's actually a fucking good point you're talking about. That, that's that is, what I was looking at, bro. Because yeah. his speed is not off the charts. He has good speed, but when he makes the tackle, they either yeah. fall straight down or they yeah. fall backwards. Yeah. And and the thing is with 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 Muma, he's he's better in my opinion with ball skills. But there's some times where the 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 runner might get an extra half a yard to a yard on him, and that but, could be a big deal on third and fucking two. You know what I mean? But I like both but, of them. But, but, I like but, both but, of them. When you get to the NFL, though, man, your body changes a little bit as well. I mean, let's you know, so we, we got to give him a chance to to come up and, and get right, get with these, get these and, real guys that's going to get him situated. You know what I mean? So and I feel like um, Osimo is a better blitzer. Okay, well that's big. That's big. So let me let me say this. So the um, new defensive coordinator for Purdue was Ron English, who was mm-hmm. the defensive back coach, who I respect like a motherfucker. He coached Abrams at Mississippi State. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to him this Saturday, two days ago, about Abrams. He said, dude, Abrams is a linebacker. He's like, he's not, he's, well, like a hybrid. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that. He needs to be a sub linebacker. I mean, yeah. the yeah. man, the man was putting up ridiculous numbers against Cleveland before he got hurt. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. That was that was a career game for for Abram, and I feel like that got overshadowed because he got hurt. Everybody's looking at him like, oh, well, you're you're inconsistent. As soon as you have a good game, you get hurt. But bro, he was having a hell of a game, but, bro. But the problem, you guys, and I, I know you guys are gonna agree with me on this. The, the more he plays closer to the line of scrimmage, the more chance he's going to be able to get hurt. He's been getting hurt year in and year out, man. He's going to be hit well, more. Th- th- actually, that's not – hold on, Doc. So the the speed of the contact isn't as – It's not as much. Because you don't have – you yeah, don't the, the length of the field. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. You're I got closer. You. The, the running backs aren't at full speed yet. You're coming. It's a nice, easy fucking wrap yeah, up tackle. But, but even the way the way he tackles, he just like he, he still has that violent nature to him. Like, but would you rather have him at 15 yards? Oh no, 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 no. Close to the line of scrimmage for sure. No, yeah. I, look, I I've been wanting him to to be a pretty much a full time linebacker, but I'm just looking at it from a standpoint. He had he has not been able to stay healthy at all. And and this is the thing with Abram is that what people are trying to say. I think the. The lightest linebacker in the league right now is Jeremiah Wusu Koromon. I think he's at 208 or 212. Are you serious? Um, um, Abram is at 205. Abram is at 205 because he put on, I believe, five pounds last offseason. I think he'll need to at least put up 
five five more, get himself to 210, and then you can really start talking. But um, but yeah, I mean, if this is the thing, what was it? Washington? Yeah, Washington, when he when he went through an offensive lineman and the running back to get that screenplay to blow it up, we know he has the strength to do that kind of stuff. But like you were saying consistently going up against three, 350, 310 pounders, yeah. that could be tough because how you said, the way he tackles, he throws his whole body into it. Exactly. And that, sho- that shoulder, he re-injured it. So yeah. let me say this, though. If he knows that he's moving down and puts on a little bulk, he might be healthier. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're- and- hey, look, you still, you play safety, so I know you know. I, but I just, the way – the way we watch this guy week in and week out, it just to me it's like I, I, I want him. Mean, he's only two hundred five. Yeah, that's crazy. He was he was at two hundred his rookie year, um, and then last off season. That's why he's getting fucking hurt? He's he's too light. Yeah, well, but Graham, Graham is gonna tell like, like like if he says you're playing 70 percent at linebacker, I think he's gonna put up a little bit more. The the thing is though is that I isn't Jabril Peppers. Lighter than Abram? That's what I, I thought Jabril Pepper. I mean, I remember watching Jabril at Michigan. Let me see. I'm going to look him up. Shorter. I thought he was shorter and – I think he is shorter. Taller. No, but but in, in, in Michigan, yes. But he, he did get a little bigger in the NFL. Hold on real quick. I didn't know Jabril Peppers was playing fucking linebacker. Yeah, full time. Like pretty much full time this season. No shit. For yeah, him. Blitzer. 5'11", 215. 5'11", Oh shit! Okay, so that's about. I mean, that's about very comparison to Abrams. Yeah, yeah. You got you got ten pounds on him, but I mean, but and if you put out ten pounds of like solid, yeah. soaked up, fucking, you know, he can do that. Look, Jabril's been in the league longer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Abrams has not been able to stay healthy. If you can get that shoulder intact, boom, get in that gym and, and put, put and get it up. Shout to JJ. Appreciate but anything you, past anything past Michael. twelve yards. We can't have Abram in any kind no. of coverage, anything no. past 12 yards, bro. And, and that's what that's what Ron English he's like, dude. He he can't, he's not a cover dude. Yeah. He's not a fucking cover yeah. safety. See, and that's coming from who coached him in fucking college, you know what I'm saying? Who got him to the league. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, 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 Andy, you think that a uh, shout to Pacey, you think that uh, N'Kobe Dean can be it? Because I I can I think he can be a sideline to sideline guy at the next level. You think he'd be a sideline to sideline guy and be at least above average at coverage? I don't think he'll be above average at coverage. Um, I think I think at best average. And the reason why I say that Wait, is because – right. who, who are you talking about? My bad. Nicole Nicole Dean, Dean. Georgia. Georgia, linebacker. I think uh, – Who's that going? Is that me? Yeah, it's you. I think, I think that's why I have Devin Lloyd above him. I think Devin Lloyd is more complete. Um – I, I think Dean no, no, no. is an incredible blitzer. I yeah. think Dean is, like you said, he sideline to sideline, great instincts in the run, That's can different. diagnose plays 16 well. 16 or 17, or what was his number at Georgia? Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. He's, a, he's Georgia's best player, right, on defense. Mm. If you if you want to say he's better than Jordan Davis and Devontae Wyatt, yeah. Let me see. He's a linebacker, right? Is he 16, number 16? Nicobe Dean. I forgot what number 17. Okay, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, I would I wouldn't say that he's this is the thing. I think that the word liability, he's not a liability in coverage. He will get by kind of like how we see Denzel Perryman get by. Denzel Perryman, he'll yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so you're comparing Dean in coverage to, to, to Denzel Perryman? In the short, in the short range, he's he's a he's he's a Dean can pick up the crosser routes that that Perriman cannot. Okay. I'm talking about inside twelve. I agree to 15 with that. Yards. Yeah. I think twelve. I think between twelve to fifteen yards, they're similar, very similar. Denzel Perriman will give up three yards and stop you at three yards. Yeah. That's how Dean is. That's how I feel like he'll be. But the thing is, Dean has the speed, he has the agility, and he has the play recognition to so be able to recognize. You pick then. Huh? Is that our pick at twenty-two? Ah, uh, I don't know. Me personally, I if if Traylon Burks isn't there, if if Devin Lloyd is not there, um, even 
Yeah, I feel I, I feel like best case scenario, there's so much value right now in the second and third round. You you yeah. trade back. Yeah. Because look, you, Mo, Mo, Mo's gonna I, be there. I, I agree with that. Mo, 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 Mo will be there in the second. May he may even fall to the third. Maybe. No, 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 no. I think Muma, as we get closer, the same way that Jamin Davis with this Muma guy. Sorry, guys. Wyoming. Wyoming linebacker. He's a fucking baller, bro. Oh, Wyoming, you said? Yeah. He, he can oh, get it done in coverage. Mahoney? And Muma. M-U-M-A. Yep, Chad Muma. But, but I feel like the same way we saw last Chad year. Okay. Last year, we saw Jamin Davis skyrocket. Yeah. In 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 er, like as we got weeks before the draft, he his his profile skyrocketed. He was the first linebacker after Parsons taken. Yeah. Um, so I feel like, or or was he taken before Parsons? No, Parsons was taken before. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, six, hold on, hold on. Six. No, three, no, no, no. Parsons two, was taken forty-two. Before. Yeah. But, okay. He's. But, but here's my thing. I feel like Muma the same way. What was the dude's name from from Bu from the Buccaneers that they drafted? Oh my God, I I didn't even know him as a first round pick, and he went up and he got in the first round. Well, out, of I Washington, feel like, right? out of Washington, yes, the yeah. the edge rusher. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice. This is the thing. This is the thing. I feel like there's gonna be players like that that are gonna sneak into the first round, like like um. What's it called? The Rams? They're they're possibly gonna lose some 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 guys, man. Like yeah. so, they'll they'll what they're gonna have to do? Do it? Wait, they don't even have a first round pick, right? Well, the Rams now nah. they got rid of them for Matthew Stafford. Yeah, so I mean, the Lions. Yeah. I mean, this is my thing, man. I I feel like Muma honestly has a chance to make it into the first. Um, I think that he does not make it out the third. I mean, out the second. Um, I hey, think D -Mag, D Mag, it says Muma 6'3, not 6'5. Yeah, he's he's 6'3, bro. Yeah, 6'5 would be fucking humongous at middle six. Muma, Muma, and, and Brian Asamoa, those two guys right Brian there. Asamoa. There's a guy out of Montana I like as well, and there's actually another guy next to Muma. His, 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 his uh, yeah, his prime. He's, he's, yeah. he's nice as shit too. This, this uh, is the thing with um. I think Muma had 142 tackles. Asamoah only had 80 this last season. So Muma, he that that's why he'll go around ahead of him. He had 62 more tackles than him. Yeah. Fact. Shout to Pharaoh, man. Shout to the Raider uh, content, creating legends on the panel. How do you spell his last name? Appreciate you, brother. Who, huh? Asamoah? Is it Namdi's something with Namdi or no? <laughs> it's A-S-A-M-O-A-H. <laughs> he said, "Is it Namdi something?" What the? Well, fuck? No, no. I'm looking. I'm like, is this Namdi's nephew or some bullshit? Like, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Asamoah. Okay, hey, Oklahoma, right? Yeah, dude's a fucking mon. I love that dude, man. Like, like watching those two's tape. Um, I knew Muma was that guy already because I mean, shit, it's it's pretty clear. Yeah, yeah. But um, I was gonna say, looking at looking at just. A snapshot as far as like ESPN and their stats. Muma's, I, I'm taking Muma all day long. Yeah, Muma's. A, yeah, a for sure. He's yeah. a he's a second he's a second round pick. Uh, he's good, he's a third. The taller. He's got fucking way more statistics. Hey, hey, real quick, Andy. Me and you have not gotten to do a a, a mock a draft yet. Yeah, I did one with. I just Sultan? did one. Shout out Sultan. to Sultan. I just yeah. finished up Sultan's uh, show. I did one with Sultan. Um, I did one earlier on in the day when I did my live. Um, but I but I let the chat until I drop my video. I'm gonna let the chat do that. But yeah, okay. I mean, shit. If you want to do a mock, bro, I'm down. Let's run one tonight in a little bit. I got a few things I want to do, but still get handle this right here with your brother. Hey, old school uh, FCF FCFS man. No, Ron English is a fucking dog. Um, Great fucking coach, coached a long fucking time, coached at Michigan, was a head coach at Eastern Michigan. Um, I again, he came to Purdue, and one of the reasons Purdue won nine games this past year, the first time they've won nine games since my senior year, was because of Ron English, and he got promoted from defensive back coach to defensive coordinator, and he's a fucking bad motherfucker, dude. So, 
Whatever, whatever he says, I respect any because he's coached. I mean, some fucking great fucking players. So yeah, no, yeah, I, I, he's the fucking shit, dude. Hey, Eli, hey, yes, keep an eye on Darian Beavers as well, a linebacker as well. He, he's definitely a sleeper. Darian uh, Beavers. I've actually seen a few people uh, saying that we might take him in the second or third round. Uh, Beavers, well, yeah, linebacker. If- he's, if you want to see Osamoa's breakout game, Osamoa's breakout game was a year ago against Florida after Florida had that really big year with Kyle Pitts and Kyle Trask. Um, he had he had a breakout game. I think he had two picks, like three tackles for loss. Like he was balling, bro. He was like that was his breakout game. That, that um, was the other linebacker we were talking about. Darian Beaver is big as shit, six four, two fifty five. Yeah, he's a monster though. Hey, like really, Zayvon Collins. Yeah, Zayvon Collins. We were talking about yeah. Leo Chanel. Remember we were talking what about the fuck though. He played one, two, three, four. He played five years of college, which. Uh, I mean, he's experienced, but he might be beat up too. I don't know. That's wow. Hey, Ty Wise, that's next, brother. We're def- that That's the next conversation. I got you, brother. Real quick, shout out to Omar. Thank you on the donation. Kyle Gordon, cornerback, is, uh, is an animal second round. Kyle Gordon out of Washington. They got two nice corners over there, and a lot of us got, got us taking one of them in the first round. Um, I like Kyle Gordon. He may even slip into the first. Uh, I don't really. Uh, this cornerback, this draft and cornerback wise is cool. I, 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 there's actually some guys. Corner or quarter? Corner, corner, corner. I don't really like it, bro. It's cool. I mean, it, it ain't it ain't special, but it's cool. Yeah, I think I think outside the top three, it's like a big drop off. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Um, we're gonna talk about that right now, real quick. Stu, before we get back to our mock, because we're gonna do a mock. I want. I definitely want to do that. Right here, time wise. We are going to do a. Mo- I want to be involved. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, Stu, talk about the Rob Ryan hire, my brother. Let us know what we're getting with him. Um, I know he's technically pretty much the senior assistant. There you go, right there. Stu, there hey, that that picture is fire. You sent that shit to me. I definitely hey, saved it in my phone. That's a mile high too, dude. That's a fucking dope ass pick, dude. I actually seen a video. That somebody uploaded um, on Twitter the other day, and it was it had a video of him, and he was he was he was yelling at somebody, and you were right behind him. Well, so here's the deal. So I talked about on on, on mine a little while ago about Rob Ryan, and first of all, his dad's who doesn't know his dad's buddy Ryan, who coached the '85 fucking Bears defense, yep. fucking mm. like one of the greatest defenses of all time. Probably the they, dude. They he grew up. In a fucking him and his twin brother Rex Ryan grew up in a fucking football family and got a start. I want to say uh, in New England, um, and he's the most blue collar, fucking very. I wouldn't even say he's he, he doesn't he doesn't uh, he's he has an ego, but. Not with the players. Like, he's got a chip on his shoulder when he fucking coaches shit because he's been around football for so fucking long. And, again, he's got so many resources. So many fucking resources. Yes. yes. So, with him just being the defensive assistant, yeah, the players can go to him and not feel like he's, like, a fucking position coach. And, like, yeah, yeah. he can be that kind of, like, that intermediate motherfucker like Willie Brown or Jim Otto or dude that's that's why I felt like this front office and Mark Davis have fucking killed it with the staff bro like we're getting guys that should be positional coaches that should be GMs and we're 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 getting we're getting them as assistants Champ Kelly could have been a GM. He's oh, an we assistant. Two GMs. We have two defensive coordinators now with, with Rob Ryan and, and Patrick Graham. Like, like we have we have numerous. Like that's like, it's, it's insane to me, bro. Like they've really killed this shit. What 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 I wanted to ask you about Rob Ryan, Stu, is you know, um he's coming from Baltimore. Like that's his recent, that's his recent stop. Coming from Baltimore, Baltimore franchise historically known to be able to blitz creative with pressure. I just feel like that's that'll work so well with Patrick Graham. Like, um, I'm 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 gonna send you a I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you once we get off this, Stu. There's a video of Patrick Graham scheming up um 
um, a free rusher well, on a know, three man I, I rush. I don't know anything about Patrick Graham. I that's one I haven't looked him up yet. This man, I this did. man was able to scheme up a free rusher on a three man rush on third down to, to get off the field. A three man rush, <laughs> a three man rush was able to get a free rusher. Hey, hey, the best thing that he ever and I know we've all talked about this. And already, dropped fucking, he had eight motherfuckers. Eight, eight. Hey. hey, hey, they said, they said, what do you run? A four, three, a three, four, five, two. His answer was yes. Yes. <laughs> See, I, I, I think that's the thing is, is that video got to Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson retweeted it. He was excited. He was yeah. excited. Yeah. I, I'm just telling you, like, if, if you want a coach that like can get you fired up, a coach that knows his shit, a coach that fucking is like, Fuck these pussy motherfucker! Like you know, a coach that's like, dude, I, I coach with this guy. This guy's a fucking asshole. Fuck this dude! Like I want to yeah. beat these motherfucking asses. And I know that tough shit. Like, and I've I've said this. Like I don't want a coach that's gonna fucking come in and act like some tough ass. But Rob Ryan knows his shit, dude. And and again, the resources that he fucking has. Like if there's a question about an offense that's kicking ass. He'll call any coach or defensive coordinator in the fucking league and go, hey, how do we stop these motherfuckers? Like, what do we do? And they'll fucking tell them because they fucking respect them. And and what I like about – what I like so much about, about um, the way that Patrick Graham spoke was – you know how you said that there's some guys that will kind of act like they're the hard – like they're the hard guy yeah. put on that persona? This dude is so like not soft spoken. Low key though. Low key. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And everybody freaking loves this dude, bro. Yeah. Yep. When 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 who was it? Logan Ryan. Right before the day before he got hired by the Raiders, Logan Ryan said the way that he puts puts thing on the whiteboard and, and schemes. It's it's what he say. Uh, he's the black Picasso. Yep. Um, what's it called? Yeah. Yep. Like, bro, bro. Fucking Leonard Williams was praising this guy. Um, James Bradbury, he got he got everything out of James Bradbury. And for yep. James Bradbury to possibly be, be cut, cut yep. he's six foot two. He's a long corner, bro. Whoa. Come this Whoa. way, bro. Only 28. He can be a part of the future here. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna tell you this too. With Rob Ryan involved. He's gonna get players that we want on our team. Yes, like, like you got connections to Baltimore, get, bro. It's fucking, bro. Hey, I don't know. Calais Campbell just I, came out today. I'm not, no, I'm not, even, saying, not, I'm not even saying through like free agency. I'm saying like they're going to get like draft pl- like draft guys in. Oh, for sure. Yes. Raiders yes. Yes. mentality and like, you know what? We may not win every fucking game, but we're gonna have some badass tough. Motherfuckers that know yeah. their shit, and Bro, that, this, hey, 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 that's what you know, just like you were saying, like Patrick Graham, right? He's sort of soft spoken, but it's a perfect balance when you go, yes, get Pierce. you go get Pierce. First of all, he has a little, but you got Pierce and you have Rob Ryan to be the dirt good cop, bad cop. Yeah, you got you got you got these. Bro. Different guys here. That can That's what I'm saying. Players. Like, bro, yeah. Mark Davis and this front office have absolutely hey, killed this shit, bro. Put and, on and that this- Raider. Put on Raider Bob eighty five. Okay, real quick. Let me get these supers in real fast. I'm gonna get oh, back. Oh my bad. Yeah, my bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. Shout out to old Docs. I was big on a uh, Bailey Zap. That's my guy in the draft for a backup uh, to groom after seeing the Senior Bowl. He kind of uh, he has that. Uh, wait, wait. He said he has no pocket awareness, bro. I mean, come on. It's 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 the Senior Bowl. Don't get wrong. I, he he did have a great old line. I believe it's kind of, of a little. It's not. It's yeah. Hey, you're grooming him. Oh, you're grooming him. That that's why I'm. You know, what I mean, he's coming in and learning the system and doing all that. If I can get Zap in, in, in the third or fourth round, I'm definitely taking him. I don't care. Uh, but shout out to oh, and one more time, uh, shout out to Jose. Coach Ryan is a student of the game, a smart defensive coach, factory outlet. Facts, 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 facts. Plus, and tax. he's been in the game for a long, long time. Long, long. Yeah, we got the. We have a very good mold between young coaches yep. and we, old you're, coaches. Dude, you're exactly fucking right. And that, yep. like, I'm looking at some of like, like the fucking, you know, um, the offensive Nick, coordinator is 33. Nick Lombardi. And, yeah, 33 years old. I don't Bro like Hardy, that higher by the way. And fucking some of these guys who are young dudes, and I'm like. 
I'd rather get some of these young guys in than fucking recycle some of these old motherfuckers that just see. But I kind of, I, me personally, I don't like the Mick Lombardi one. No, wait, 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 wait. Why, bro? He's a wide receiver coach. It makes, already, me, it all, makes, it makes me nervous too. But first of all, we already know who's calling the plays. Yeah, so, 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 so why does it matter? Yeah, you're yeah. Because I'm getting a flashback to what we just had. But <laughs> but but don't get not, started. Don't get still started. <laughs> but but not just that. They they they're kind of they were kind of in the same fucked up position that we were. We chose a first round draft pick wide receiver. What the fuck did our receiver do? What the hell did Nikhil Harry do? He's a wide receiver coach. They haven't had a receiver go over a thousand yards in four years, and he's an offensive coordinator. I don't like that. I understand he's young. I understand we know who's calling the plays. But at this point, if you look at our offensive staff, young, 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 young. We don't have that one guy that McDaniel's can actually look to and say, "Hey, man, they're running this Cleveland." How do we truly stop Cleveland? I will say this, though. If you had to pick for a young staff, would you rather a young staff be on offense or defense? Offense. Offense. So at least, like. Yeah, yeah. That's But that's my thing. Because I know how <laughs> well we've done, I'm not, I'm not really crazy. I'm not. I'm not. Well, no, I'm not the biggest I, fan. I, 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 I like what they're. They're kind of – I feel like they're going to have the defense kind of set the tone, which I think is – like, I like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. like, But but Nick, Nick Lombardi got that Raider blood going through his bloodline, man. His dad was a Raider. Guys, you know I mean? here's the thing we got to realize. We got a fucking pretty good fucking offensive fucking team. Oh, yeah. Already in play. That's what I'm saying. Like – we're we're hiring a whole new staff on a team that made the fucking playoffs. Like we, got, I, I think, I think the biggest, dudes, like we have guys. Like that's the greatest part. Apart from the OC and McDaniel's, bro. You, you and still both, <laughs> bro. Apart from McDaniel's, bro. Fucking, fuck you, Michael. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Don't get me fucking going, you fucking asshole, bro. Apart from McDaniels, bro, I think getting Coach Carmen Brasillo was – Yes, yes. Bro, like, look, we didn't even have to upgrade his role on the staff. He went from O-line coach to O-line coach. Yep. That's big in my opinion because he had a top hey, 10 O-line over there. But do you think Do you think him coming over with Josh, do you think that how, somehow, some way, Trent Brown is going to be a right tackle for the Raiders? Yes, this? yes, yes. I tell you, bro, I see it happening. I bro, that. he literally left us to go back to him and McDaniel's. Yeah, bro, it, bro, it that makes too clean. much. It literally makes too much sense. Yeah. You go get since he's left. Since he's left, we've had a void that we need to fill at right tackle. We know that when he actually plays, he's a good player. He's one of the best. Of the best like, when he's healthy. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, Jose. Docs, the handoff you just did with your wife was way better than any handoff Jacobs did this season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I kind of rubbed her hand a little bit too. You know what I mean? I, easy, I, I, easy. Come I, on. And this dude said booty hole. I, heard, I, I, didn't, no, I did not. I said no. I did not. I didn't. Illuminor, Illuminor is an option. Yes. To bring back. He 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 played under him. He was the starter of uh, 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 one year with with him over there. So he was the only person that when we hired McDaniel's actually. Wasn't like, oh my God, Rich Versace. Oh no, he literally he was he was like, listen, give it give, give it some thought. You guys will like the outcome. Like that's what he said. So yeah, I, I just look, man. If we can get a help, hey, I'm gonna say down, this. I have nothing wrong with it. So I'm looking up Patrick Graham's, you know his his Wikipedia whatever. I like this. In 2018, Graham was hired by the Green Bay Packers to be their run game coordinator. Mm -hmm. And now he's our both defense. sides of the ball, bro. Yes, bro. That's why I think Jason Simmons is extremely fucking versatile, bro. With with Carolina, he was their pass game coordinator and their defensive backs coach. Like, yep. bro, and like people are crying about about Simmons coming in. I, I I don't I don't get it. I don't. How can it. you cry about him? His fucking resume is elite. Yeah, bro. I, whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on here a second. Whoa, whoa! This Chris Ash, the DB. No, show. but that's the thing. Yeah, 
Yep. That's the thing. This is what I like about this staff, dog. They, they, they hired Chris <laughs> Ash. They hired Chris Ash. They hired Chris Ash, and it was like, oh, hold yeah, on. Dude. Fucking Ohio State. But look, Iowa look, State, look, he's look, a Western fucking dude. Fuck Jason that, Simmons man. came in, and he swooped his job. Yep, facts. He's not with the Raiders no more. I'm pretty sure his deal fell through, Stu. Who's that? With, with Chris Ash. No, 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 no. They're saying that Ash is... They're he's both of them. They're both, they're both them. They're here. He's no, they're here. both here. Oh, they're both? Okay. Yeah, they're yeah. both here. But look, bro, you look yeah, at no, Chris no, no, Ash, bro. No, no, Ash, Ash is the DB coach, I believe. So, so, so... I, I don't know how they... I got to look that up again. Hold on real quick. Bro, Simmons, bro, look at his... Hold on. I'm going to read Graham, you this man's Graham, resume, Graham, dog. He court, no, Jason Simmons is the... Okay. He's the secondary coach, and then Chris Ash. Is Simmons is defensive yeah. pass game coordinator. Yes. Chris Ash would be the safeties coach. Yes. Is what I'm thinking. Chris and look, Ash, Chris and look. Ash is the DB coach. Jason Simmons is the secondary coach. Now, I don't know what the He's only safeties. So at, at Ohio State, co defensive coordinator, safeties coach. And, at, and look. Uh, defensive coordinator, defensive back coach. Uh, look, but, but, bro, look at, at his Texas, resume, dog. Coordinator and safeties coach. They're saying they're saying that Jason Simmons is the guy that'll learn under Graham to take over the defense when Graham gets his head coach gig. Yep. Because Graham. Uh, so let me look up Jason Simmons now. Jesus. Oh, Christ. let me let me let me read it to you, Stu. Let me read it to you, bro. Because his 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 fucking resume, dog. Look, all right. Uh, 2018. Oh, he's an Arizona State guy. So I fucking still. God damn it. Fucking look, look. 2018. Um, passing yards they ranked 12. Interceptions. Well, well, Ron, Ron English coached him at Arizona State, who is like I just talked. See how this shit is so connected, dude. Yeah. Like, it's crazy as fuck, dude. It's a brotherhood. Sorry. It's a go ahead, Andy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear what you're saying, brother. Yeah, sorry. bro. Tw 2021, they had the fourth best pass defense with Jason Simmons, mm -hmm. and that was Carolina. Yeah. Um, the year before that. They had the 13th best pass defense. He's never had a pass defense under 13. That's great. Under. Look at the guys. Look at the guys that he's coached. Jair Alexander. Ha -ha well, he, he, was with, he was with Woodson in Green Bay. Yeah. I think. Ja right? ja Jair Alexander. Kevin Jair King. Is one of the best in the right now. Jair is one of the best corners in the league right now. Still a uh, place for Green Bay. Adrian Amos, Adrian Amos, goes to Carolina. Amos Jeremy Amos. Chin, Jeremy Chin, Dante hey, Jackson. Hey, Jeremy Chin, didn't he go to like uh, East Illinois or Southern Illinois or some shit? Bro, he's a baller, bro. Yeah. Uh, Dante Jackson, free agent. Rasul Douglas, crazy good year this year. J.C. Horn, what literally allowed one catch in his three games before he got hurt. Yeah. Um, C.J. So, is that fucking? Is he from North Carolina State? The rookie. Yeah. That's no, 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 no. Horns, South Carolina. Carolina, South Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah, okay, yeah. yep. Stephon Gilmore acquired by a trade. J CJ uh -huh. Henderson acquired by a trade. Bro, this guy's resume is crazy to me, bro. There's no way that you can't like him. And, and, and right now, we can go get Dante Jackson and Gilmore if we really, or one of them, one of those guys, and then draft one. So either way, I, I think the cornerback room is gonna look nice this year. I think you have to go out and get Gilmore, my personal opinion. Yeah, that's that's my guy right now. Dude, tell Video Raider, no, that already happened. Tell Video Raider that already happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video, we already hired him. Pacey, and that's facts, bro. I'm just happy we don't have to see Parker at all either. Wipe them feet, you guys. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, man, if you're not subscribed. Also, go subscribe to Raiders Football Talk on YouTube, my little bro Andy, fire-ass channel, and go support Stu uh, YouTube page as well as under Stuart Schweiger. On oh, YouTube, appreciate you guys, man. Um, but yeah, bro, I I'm excited about both those additions, though. With him and Ash back there, they're both gonna be back there. Like we said, two GMs, two secondary coaches, two like Chris bro, Ash like, resume is not it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but you still got an extra. You, you got, got two. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you got, got extra, two. Yeah, you got an extra mind back there. You know what I'm saying? So and this, and, this and, is the thing. If Simmons take over the defense, uh, and and Chris Ash is learning from Simmons, then hey, you already got shit in place. Yeah. All right, Stu. Break down Rob Ryan. Give us some stories. Let, yeah, no, let me let me just say this before I, I move on to that is 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 going through and again I, I went through and wrote down all the fucking positions and who we hired and 
And you know me, guys. I'll fucking call a spade a spade, right? And I just, I mean, looking through these guys, it's, I know, I mean, I, I'm sure we are, we're all kind of looking through rose-colored glasses right now. I mean, we're all fucking excited and everything was fucking great, but I don't really see too many fucking, like, shit I'm really worried about. Like, dude, why'd they hire this motherfucker? No. I mean, again, Andy, I mean, I understand with the offensive coordinator, that's a big position. I get that. But but is it? Is it? I, I would have understood us hiring the tight ends coach from the Browns more than this wide receiver coach. Jose, I like that, bro. Dante, facts. Hey, this is great. Hey, hey, this is who he is right here, Stu. This is who he is right here. This is who our OC is. Um, what? He's, he's he's just a puppet, bro. He's coming in just to 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 to, to hold the clipboard for uh for, for uh Josh McDaniels. At the end of the day, bro, when Greg Olson was asked about how how his role was switched, he literally <laughs> said he literally said all he was doing was going back and forth with John Gruden, giving him examples. Yep. What the fuck? Like what? <laughs> like are you serious? I couldn't believe that shit. That's why I was like, okay, I would have actually, I could have, I literally would have rather the tight ends coach from from Cleveland. Yeah, I, I like him though, it, it, because Josh McDaniels loves his two tight ends. Two set. tight ends, so it yeah. makes more sense in my opinion than to give this guy a head uh, offensive coordinator. But it happened. It is what it is. Yeah. Shout to Hammer man. He said, "I'm watching you guys on the big screen in the whip." Shout out to my dog, man. Shout out to Hammer, man. John Donahue, don't be fucking fucking around, dude. He said, John hurt my feelings a lot. No, uh, no. The, uh, the next one up there, jo oh. Sean Donahue. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me go. That's some bullshit. Let me see. Right Ooh. above the one you just put up, motherfucker. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Greg Olson, the anti-goat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call Greg Olson right fucking now. Hey, if you get him on, bro, oh my God, bro, this would be the fucking. Trust me, he's going to come on my fucking show and I, I'm going to let him fucking sound off on you motherfuckers. Hey, hey, Good. Yeah, I'm for real. But as long as he agrees to let it sound off on him too, <laughs> then it's all love. Shout out to Jose, man. I think Lombardi is going to have a bigger role on our offense than Olsen did. I, I, I do too, because. Oh, shit. Here we go. Let it look. Josh McDaniels is smart. He brought a young guy. He's 33 years old, man. This guy's young. Stu, where are you going? Just, what? Give me a we second. need to hear this, man. <laughs> oh, shit. This is going to be comedy, bro. But, no, I agree with you, brother. I, I agree. But I still think that at some point he's still going to be some type of a clip, clipboard holder a little bit. Yeah. This is Josh McDaniels' system. Yeah. Period. That's kind of why I was like – Okay, I'm gonna put, brush it under the rug. I don't really care too much, but I felt like, bro, even getting an old guy, like an old guy, because because this is what I was saying. If you go out and get an old dude to be your OC, you can learn. Because fucking McDaniel's only forty five, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can still learn from him. Definitely. I mean, bro, look, I mean, Andy Reid's old as fuck. You know I mean? so, he got a dynamic ass offense. So, but, but he, how, how old is the enemy? Is he 50, 40, late 40s? How old is Eric B. Enemy? Greg Olson said. Why are we talking about B. Enemy? 52. Okay, 52. No, I was just because we were saying, because Josh McDaniels is like 45, and then uh, Mick Lombardi's 33. So they're, they're, they're both still fairly young. Smoke. <laughs> We uh we we cut you off before you got to give us the rundown of, of Rob Ryan though, bro. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Put up uh Tasi Siasi or whatever. Ta Tasi. Let me see where where T S at. He said it, it just went it went, it went away. <laughs> said, tell Olsen, come get this. Got some rude ass motherfucker. Hey, 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 he said I'm in Cabo right now. <laughs> Bro, I, I had tuned in to Stu's live when Stu was reading off from a book all the all all the shit that Greg Olson did. Motherfucker, that shit was all Gruden, man. Oh, we we had a we had this X amount of passing yards. Derek Carr threw this much. Well, that's all fucking Gruden, man. He what? just had the title. 
That book right there. <laughs> hey, shout out to Ant, man. He's, this is facts, though. McDaniel's been calling plays for 10 to 15 years. No need for an old OC. He knows what he's doing. He's done. He does. Yeah. But guess what? You can always learn, bro. Facts. Facts. Um, as soon as you think that you know everything, you're fucked. Yes. You're fucked. Gruden. Hey, Jose says, Stu, can you get Rob Ryan on the live soon? They're, they're close. They're close. They're close. I know I know for sure. Actually, Stu screenshotted and sent me the, the text message of them the other day when he said, back in black. He said, yes, sir, back in black. <coughs> so, yeah, let me. Um... Damn. That motherfucker might went. Whoa. Motherfucker sound like OG. <clears throat> Here, hold on. <clears throat> Oh, that cough? Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me see. Stu, get your shit together. Yeah, so here we go. So I said, I said, this was Saturday at 12.55 after I broke my TV. Um, I said, fuck yes, let's go. And then I sent I sent this fucking picture of me in the Lazado fucking throwback jersey. And then Rob Ryan said, hell yeah, back in black. I said, I'm so fucking pumped. Please tell Kristen is his wife. Uh -huh. uh, we are popping Cristal because if you score on defense, you get a bottle of Cristal. And she and he said she loved the text. And then I sent a picture of me and Gerard Cooper. Mm -hmm. And he goes, the fellas. And I said, well, enjoy your day, coach. I'm so, so happy. He says, yeah, I can't wait to see you when you come back. And then I said, can you dig up Joe Avanzano, who was our special teams coach, who's passed away? I said, can you dig him up, please, and get this thing really pumping? He goes, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But we called that shit, though. We really did. We, we talked about that for a while. Yeah, for a while. Get, get, everybody want, is want, give us, give us, I know we, we, we heard the, <laughs> we heard, we heard the maggot story, right? The, the, oh. the, yeah, yeah. So the, the the locker room. I don't know if you were here, uh, Andy, at the time. Uh, well, it's probably one of the reasons why I got fucking blackballed because fucking Rob Ryan knows so many fucking people, and that's why my are. career was only like five fucking years. <laughs> hey, Rob. Hey, hey, Rob came back to to make sure that Stu's uh, YouTube page gets the fuck out of here too. <laughs> <laughs> He said, oh, Stu's, oh, Stu's doing Raiders shit on YouTube now, huh? Let's get him the fuck out of there. That shit is comedy, bro. Pacey, and that's facts. Antonio Pierce getting hired makes me feel old as fuck. Facts. Raider Gabe says, me and this Raider Gabe Lincoln are going to have Hey, to be honest. Hey, put up, put up Hoppa Pinoy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I lightweight, though. Lightweight. I mean, Gabe, shit. I thought that was you the whole time, bro. I, I didn't even know. I, I swear I swear, I thought that was you. Stu should coach, too. Right? Hey, man. A lightweight, though. I mean, I, I'm I'm joking about it, but I wouldn't. Hey, mind like, yes, sir. Remember, we were talking about Trayvon Merrick and how you you kind of felt like it was somewhat comparable to what happened with you. Yeah. Who you think that this move in his second year is best for him? Rob Ryan. No, 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 Patrick Graham. Oh yeah. With him running that multiple style defense, two oh, split oh, safety. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, sorry. Yes, absolutely. Like not having him stuck, you know, between the hashes, twenty yards deep, moving the safeties, being. To be yeah. honest with you, the best thing you can do it as a, as a safety, a safety tandem, is be right and left, where there's like depending, like there's no. Oh, I'm going to the tight end, or I'm going to the field, or I'm. You know what? I'm left. I'm right, and you know every because you have to know both positions that way. And yep. the quarterback doesn't know because he's like, "Fuck these guys, just go right and left." I don't know who this free is, who the strong is, who's middle, who's coming down on a tight end, who's blitzing, and like if they motion, like, hey, don't worry about fucking you know this safety going with the motion and this other guy going over here. Like, just we just trade it off, dude. And they don't know what you're in. You could even be in man. If the tight end trades and the safeties are like, all right, well, now you got middle of the field, and I know I got this dude man to man, but the quarterback doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. But also, if you see the safety fucking go with the motion, what do you, what do you think? Or you could even have the safety go with the motion, have this guy switch over and still be in zone, and they think it's fucking man. Mm -hmm. But when you're always in one spot, 
it's very fucking easy for the quarterback to know what the fuck's going on yeah. to, to allow him. Because quarterbacks, every time, is it two or single high? Always. Is the middle open or not? And that dictates everything they fucking call from there. But if they never fucking know. Hey, Stu, you know what's so cool, right? We literally went from the most predictable yeah. hologram of Stu. We thought he was chilling with <laughs> Pac and Cuba. We literally went from the most predictable coach with John Gruden and defensive coordinator with Gus Bradley to two guys that wow. literally that, t- that literally tailor their offense and their defense against the opposition. Just we make yeah. people think. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I think the best thing, I, I don't believe in the whole shifting the defense or the offense around a confused defense. Just send guys in motion. Mm-hmm. That okay. fucking jet sweep motion. Like, I'd run that fucking jet sweep motion every fucking – and you know what? Sometimes hand it to them. Otherwise – let them go off, run a fucking flat route, but it's taking the defense off their keys for a second. Yep. Let those offensive linemen do what they need to do. I love it. But if you just line up like that as, for a defense, when the offense just lines up, it, like you're like, all right, we're in this, and there's no like thinking about shit. Because as soon as you cross formation, you have to make adjustments. You have to communicate. And I guarantee you, Guys are going to fuck shit up or they're not going to fucking relay the right thing or they're going to get confused. But if you just line up, man, that's fucking, that's easy. Like, like, um, like I was about to say, bro, do y'all remember the last time the Raiders put up 50 points on a team, bro? I don't. The hey, fucking hey, the hey, Patriots hey, put up 55, I think, hey, on the Texans. Hey, Denver, when, when they had Josh McDaniels, we had Darren McFadden. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, that when, I, when I played for the I, I don't think we ever got past 25 points. Uh, be, I mean, like. That was some terrible offenses, bro. Really, really bad, bro. It was, it was terrible coaching. Yeah. Literally, it was. We had players, dude. Trust me. We had fucking guys, but. We didn't have the right people telling them what the fuck to do and how to do it and fucking what situations we should run what plays. And hey, hey, bro, I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna go in any order, but top five defensive tackles to me. Um, you, you gotta put Jordan Davis, Devontae Wyatt, Travis Jones out of Connecticut, um, uh, Winfrey, Winfrey out of Oklahoma, and then um, number five, I'd probably go with um. Shit, Leo, right? Out of Texas A&M. I mean, shit, he's kind of a defensive end, defensive tackle. I- I'd go with those. Th- those would be my top five right there. Um, shout out to Jose once again. We're going to get one story, you guys, with Rob Ryan, and then we're going to do our mock draft. I promise. Um, Jose says, Stu, sorry if you already talked about it, but did Rob Ryan run multiple defensive sets? So I, I know my rookie year we were 3-4, uh, and that was him coming from New England. And in, in 2005, I think we we started with a 3-4 and then went to a 4-3. We, and that was one of the only reasons our defense struggled is I think as far as the defensive front went, we were putting, you know, defensive rush ends that put their hand in the dirt like Tyler Brayton and turning them into outside linebackers trying to cover tight ends and slot receivers, like not even cover, but just zone drop. Like that's not, that's, it wasn't what they were good at, you know? And then we finally switched it and went to a four man front. And um, we, we didn't, I guess, like, are you saying switching from three, four to four, three? Like yeah, because because Graham Graham does that based on the personnel and the style of play that the team. Uh, well, you should, played. you should. But back in my day, it was you were a three four or a four three. Mm-hmm. Like there wasn't a whole lot of. But Rob Ryan definitely like would take what we had and players that were playing that were you know available, and he would adjust his shit to the guys that he had, and, and instead of like. Well, players need to adjust their shit to my shit. It's like, dude, that's, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You're a fucking asshole. Like, you take the players you have and put them in positions that are going to make them successful. Because if they're successful, your team's going to be successful. Facts. 
So I, I Rob, I'm telling you, know. Rob Ryan will do – he'll do anything to fucking win a fucking football game. So he'll fucking – let's go. Fucking run it. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And he'll listen to players. <laughs> and, like – and that that's what's great is, is, is a lot of times the guys that are out there doing it, ask those fuckers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hey, as a corner – do you like playing cover two or do you like playing thirds or do you like playing man? You know what, coach? I like playing cover two. All right. So when we're, when we're in a situation and that's what you feel comfortable doing, I will know that you're good out there playing cover two, but I'm not going to put you in a situation where you're playing fucking man to man on a slot receiver that has fucking two way go on a blitz. Like that's not your play. I'd rather put somebody else in there that is better with that. Then fucking put you out there and fucking have your reputation be on the fucking slide because I put you in a position that you're not comfortable with. Stu, let me ask. I want both you guys to answer this. Shout the pace. He yeah, asked Stu, but I'm going to start with Andy and I'm, I'm going to work towards Stu. Um, can you guys both tell the pros and cons of Ted running too high? Running too um, high. Pros and cons. Say, uh, sorry, say that again. The pros and cons of running too high. Thank well, you. I mean, the 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 depends on I mean there's so many things that you can do out of a two high though like you can do anything out of a two high you can you can run a cover three out of two high but it's a, I think broad, that, it's a broad question it's a very broad yeah question. but but I think that's a pro it's, it's a good I, that's a pro it's a good question that that I think that 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 you got to put that in the pros column because you can do anything but I think that probably I agree I think I think um. Honestly, I mean, Stu, you can tell me this if I'm wrong on this, but I feel like the weakest point in the cover two is when you run straight up just a cover two. That's it. Because there's that gap in between the safety and the outside corner. If there's a guy going into the flats, the corner might edge a little bit up onto the flat, and then you can have a corner route or a crosser route that can go right in between that. And if that quarterback got that arm strength, it's going to get right in there, and then now you're one-on-one -on -one with a safety. You know, but I mean, cover four. Say it again, what, what, what was that route? Say it again. Sorry. Like, if, if you got a, let's say, let's say you got a, you got twins on the left, right? You got twins on the left. You got one guy just pulling, getting the attention of the corner, yep. and you, you, he, he got a curl. He, he the, pulls him down just, 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 just a yard. He pulls him down just one yard. Send the other guy on the corner. And then now you got you got to you have to have a safety that's either going to recognize that and oh, jump the honey out. hole. That's the honey hole. Yeah, and on top of that, think about it. If you if you run that right, that's taking the attention away from that safety. You run one person down the middle, you can get gashed in the middle right there. Gone. Yeah. So Gone. I feel like I feel like the the safeties. It, it's on the other side. You run the same shit. The same concept exactly. <sighs> Hey, but, but, battle, definitely. but definitely, definitely, there's many more pros to running too high than running just one guy. Yeah. So I'll, I'll say this. I'll say I agree with everything that Andy said and what – there's running too high and there's showing a too high shell. Yes. So what I would do – for me is and, and what Rob when Rob Ryan was our D coordinator with you know Namdi and Woodson and Fabian and you know all these God, we that showed, lineup is nasty dog we, we showed we showed a cover two shell so shell. no matter what the play was it looked like cover God damn it am I echoing like that what the fuck why am I doing that? put put the put the mic down though bro you holding that shit like an old fucking a uh, uh, television show kind bro, of that, that man Raider Ruckus said that you were holding a little eggplant, bro. So just <laughs> fucking ruckus. That son of a bitch. Now, if you keep it, if you keep it down like that, Stu, you're good. It, it, when you have it close, pause. Oh, it sounds like that. How how's it sound right now? Perfect. Yeah. All right. But yeah, that that cover two, like you were saying, <laughs> that showing cover two, you can do so much shit out of that, bro. You because it's very easy to drop down. As far as safeties go, right? And Hell it's yeah! Easy. It's very easy for corners to look like that cover two press and then just bail in cover three, or being man and being be man, man. Yeah, 
And then the safeties fucking middle high, and this one comes down and guards the fucking tight end or the fucking, let's say this, let's say switch it up a little bit and have the fucking outside linebacker cover the tight end and the safety drops down middle to cover the fucking running back or spy yeah. the fucking quarterback. If the quarterback Bro, they're just just it's endless cover the 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 two it's high here it's a lot easier to come down than to show cover three or cover one yeah. and back off into a two high yeah um, you can also run cover four which cover four I think it, for me anyway if I were a coach is the best defense you can run because if you have safeties that can read run or pass you have fucking let's see you have eight guys in the run defense. Oh. And you have seven guys in the pass defense, so you're always fucking outnumbering the offense. And, but and your two safeties no longer have to worry about the sidelines; they can worry about the hash marks. Yeah. And it's it, it's just it's just great. It's, it's endless. So, so what, yeah, what, yeah, before you ask the from too high, you can rank. Before you say this, yes, you can. So when you talked about, remember that we talking about those routes where the safeties get pushed out. That's why. Herm Edwards, right? Or don't know who, who had the Tampa Bay Tampa two Dungy. Tony Dungy. That's why, but you have to have a linebacker that can take that number yep. fucking three up the seam. Mm-hmm. And he had he had Derek Brooks who could run with yeah. that motherfucker. Because yeah. usually the linebackers after 15 yards, they stop. They don't mm-hmm. they don't carry. And that that's how you fucking get beat. And that's why they came up with Tampa two. You know what I just realized? Hey, shout out to everybody in the, in the comment section, right? I don't know. I don't know. Stu and Andy's going to be in Vegas for the draft. I hope you guys would come out. Yeah, It'd be great. What I'm going to do is I am going to organize a Raider content and fans. Doesn't matter. Flag football game. Oh, it's wraps. Y'all are fucked. No real shit. Hey, hey no, but <laughs> I only say that because if both of you guys come, because everybody's saying they should both be coaches. Stu's one coach. Andy's <laughs> other. Andy's playing. Yeah, facts. Fuck all no, that. No, 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 no. You guys, you guys are player coaches, motherfucker. Fuck you, me. Oh, I, I'm a rock stew shit. Oh God, I, hey, that's uh, not flag hey. football. Let's just play throw it up tackle. <laughs> <I'm> fucking... <laughs> Let's play throw it up tackle. I'm trying to hey, run hey, through school real quick, out, man. Hey, definitely. I'm st- I'm putting. Uh, hey, I'm putting a thumbnail together. I'm putting a flyer together for it. I'm gonna get everybody out there. Cody, uh, everybody of uh, Samoan. I'm gonna have everybody pull that'd up. Be, hey, that'd be dope as shit, though. That'd be fun. Bro, be bro. Fun and then and then I'll just fuck y'all up. We need to do a kicking competition, and then I'll show the real Mexican in me, and then y'all really fuck. Hey, Are man. you kicking soccer goals or <laughs> field goals, <laughs> motherfucker? Kirk says, please tell Raider Nation to pray for my pops. Ah, oh, my God, my brother. Prayers to you, King. Prayers yes. to you, man. Uh, damn, I hate to hear that shit, bro. You know, I just came back from someone I consider my mom dying from the same thing, my brother. So I, I, I know what you're going through. I'm praying for you, my man. I, this shit is just, this shit's nonstop, bro. It's nonstop, man. Prayers to you and your family, man. And I definitely um, pray, just pray for strength for you you and everybody um, that's dealing with this, man. Shout out to Kirk Hall. That fucking sucks, bro. I'm, I'm going to say an extra prayer for you tonight, King. For real. Bro, for real this man. motherfucker said kicking tacos, bro. That shit's funny. <laughs> What, 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 what's going on with his dad? He passed away from COVID, man. Sorry to hear Damn. that. That's that's sucks, man. Sucks. Shout out to Kurt, yeah. bro. I'm, I'm gonna say a prayer for you. I'm, I'm telling you, tonight I put a special one for you, King. Um, hey, hey, did you say kicking the tacos? Hey, that made me remind me of that meme I sent you, and he was like, Why the fuck you tag me in? Yeah, out of everybody in that motherfucking group chat, dog. That shit was funny, though, bro. <laughs> that shit hey, was funny. Jojo Valdez, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. No, hey, we're doing that. I'm putting it together. So I don't know what the fuck you guys got to do, but y'all got to get there, bro. I'm putting that together. I I'm get- pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna link with um with Dirty, and I'm gonna be in that little house that they got. Okay, yeah, and then I got a I got an extra one too. Um, B and B that people been asking me. I, I'm bu- hey, I'm bunking up with you, Andy, in uh, oh. Dirty's house. So Are you, you going there? It's just it's just a bedroom with one bed though. Is that cool? <laughs> Man, no, you can no, sleep no, on no, the floor, Andy, bro. Andy's bringing the bunk bed, bro. You smooth. Yeah. He's putting oh, the, oh, somebody, the somebody gonna rock on the motherfucking floor, though, bro. I'm bringing a sleeping bag. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Hammer. Stu better be in Vegas. We I don't sleep. Oh, you're good, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Stu ain't going to sleep out bro, there. You bro, you can sleep in the living room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
He said, he said, ladder match for my title. Shout out to my brother Hammer. Hammer gonna be out there it's too. King so. size bed though. We'll put pillows. In no, the bro. No, bro. No. Hey, tsunami. That's why my back is fucked up now, bro. Sleeping on all them goddamn floors, and I was like, bro, that kid. shit is mad comfortable, dog. Bro, I can't do it no more, bro. The way my back set. Bro, up, let right? me let me tell you this, bro. Something back. about hotel beds. Stupid, I hate bro. them. I hate hotel beds, dog. I hate that shit. I told you, bring the bunk, bro. Bring the bunk. Bro, that shit, man. Yeah, comfortable, bro. That shit is legendary, bro. That shit is legendary. Bro, hey, them, them shits got retired, though, bro. Oh, no way. Yeah, bro. Oh. Yeah, we're, oh, we made, we're making that. We're, we're, we're making we're make, we're making that room an office for my mom. I'm going to I'm gonna help her make that room an office for her. So I got to retire them shit. Bro, hey, RIP, man, to the GOAT. <laughs> Them shits, hey, I, they've been punched on, th shit thrown at. Hey, nah, what I miss? What I miss? What the bunk beds never got punched. Them shits were metal. The walls did. <laughs> Dude, up in, up until I was a freshman at Purdue, I, I, that's all I slept in was bunk beds. Bro, that shit, bro. When, when you got, when you got a one bedroom home, bro, and you got three siblings, <laughs> I ain't nothing two, better. I had a two bedroom home with six siblings, so we're, we're fucking we had. <laughs> Hey, that guys, shit, bro. Real quick, y'all. I'm gonna do this, and I'm putting that together, y'all. I promise you. Um, Andy, you got oh, round one. Oh shit! Here we go. I That's got right. round one. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people on the you board. Better right fucking now. pick a good fucking pick, dude. Bro, yeah, bro. Traylon Burks. Hey, my guy, bro. That is my guy. Even there's... with Leo on the board, Drake. Hey, bro. A, hey, there's no way that uh uh uh, 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 uh what is it? How you say the key? Akeem and what bro, the North Carolina State offensive tackle. There's We're no taking way. a wide receiver in the first round. Bro, he don't drop the 20, though. He doesn't drop the 20. He's gonna be a top five guy. Bro, what'd you say his hands were, bro? 5X. <laughs> bro, these trades are low-key valid as fuck. 5X? 5X hands, bro. Oh, five oh. extra large. Yeah. What do you want to suck his dick or something? I mean, Jesus oh. Christ, who gives a fuck? Bro, they gotta make him specialized gloves for the game. Motherfucker, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh shit, man. Here we go with Stu, man, turning shit into some other shit. All right, so on you, Stu. Facts, MJ. What are, what, are you, <laughs> what are you looking at right now, position-wise, in the second round? We need corners, we need a defense. Scroll tackle. down a little bit, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, what the fuck? Who took all oh, Mooma went 50? I know. Right, bro, I would have took him right. Or Kyler Gordon. Both of those guys would have been snatched up. Um, damn, Jalen Tolbert's there in a the second, too. Um, I, like the, I can't. It's blurry on my shit. I don't. Darian, uh, Darian Kennard, offensive tackle, Kentucky. He was getting cooked in that senior boat. I ain't gonna I'm lie. telling you, dog. Brian, Brian Asamoah, but he's a third-round guy. Travis Jones is right there, too. Out of hey, look at that linebacker from Wisconsin. Okay, is Wyatt there? Is is Wyatt DT? Oh. oh, you know what? Let me look real quick. Hold on. No, he's gone. Oh. Who is? Wait, uh, that's no, no. Go down. Go up. Go up. Go. What? You were at like two ninety eight. Yeah, you hella far down, bro. Oh shit, my bad. He gone. Damn. But I mean, Matt Travis Jones is the best guy on the board right now. But this is the thing. This is why you go out and get Brandon Williams from Baltimore. Oh, Kobe's there too. Yes, but I would go, I would do that. So this, this okay, look, Brandon Smith is there right now, and Christian uh, Harris right there, linebacker right there. Those are two. Fuck, bro, I don't see what's so great about him, bro. Hey, Darian Beavers is there too. Ooh, there's some there's some guys. Brian Osamo is a fucking dog, bro. This is Leo Chanel. This this is Stu's guy right here. Is hey, he hey, hey, wait. Does does yeah. Brian? Does Brian have a, a draft profile look? Thing? Get him. Leo Chanel is my pick. Bro, this is the second round. He went, yeah. he, he, hey, hey, this Stu's round. <laughs> Stu's round. Damn, Mechie. Mechie. Oh, fuck. We already went receiver. Yeah, you can't double up, bro. I mean, we could we're technically, but. Nah. Is, is Asamoah still there? You know, Should we not be retired. We just got a line already. <laughs> You fucking stupid. Fuck, dog. Damn, bro. Hold on, man. Oh, Lindstrom went too. Oh, my boy Zap is there. <laughs> my, oh, boy Bailey. Zap, my boy Zap is there. Let me see. I want to see. Oh, damn. Darren Beavers is even on there. So we already got a linebacker. We already got a receiver. Holy damn, fuck. Oh, 
safety from Oregon, bro. Like the uh, the one that went to to New England. Fuck, bro. Hold on. Verone McKinley, that. dog. They sold me on Verone McKinley in my life. Bro, Logan I'm not – Logan Hall's still there. I might have to grab him. We need a defensive tackle, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. What the fuck? You might as well get matchy. Draft, draft, draft the BPA. Man, I don't want to be on some – just, bro, damn, I might, though, bro. But ain't nobody going to double up the receiver. There's no way. Bro, no, the motherfucker had here. almost 100 receptions this year, bro. L let me look at the comment section and see what we're doing. Oh, my God. They saying double up. Don't do it, Docs. Uh -uh. Kobe's gone. Kobe's already gone right now. Um, let me see. Travis Jones is already gone. Fourteen oh eight. He's out of there. Um, Travis Jones. Yeah, he's out of there. Damn. Double bro. up, motherfucker. I uh, know. I might have to really double <laughs> bro, up, bro. This is such a fucking troll, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We just fucked around on this. Oh shit. The Ra raid says Ritter. Oh, get that. <laughs> hey, hey, coming from raid. That says a lot, bro. <laughs> so, hey, just because you said that, bro, just because my brother Ray said go uh, get rid of just because he said go get rid of I'm going to go get Bailey Zap. Uh, 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 Fuck you, Ray. <laughs> Hold on, okay. It's all Stu. All right, so it's on Andy. Hold on. Oh, it's on me? Hey, oh, reject that shit. Hey, okay. hey, Smoke Monday still there. Troy Anderson is fire out of Montana State, too. Linebacker. I like Myron Cunningham, though. Offensive tackle out of, uh, out of Arkansas he's right nice there. Well. He is nice, too. Um, he said, shit. I don't do that. <laughs> Y'all, we need a reality show with our content creators, Big Brother Las Vegas. I'm wasted. Pull up. Wait, we haven't got line. We haven't got a linebacker, huh? Yeah, we did. We got a Chanel. Leo Chanel yeah. out of Wisconsin. We, we good. Oh my God, bro! Dude, I'm hey, telling you, yeah, bro, bro, bro you, fire. Go, 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 Myron, go, Myron, go, Myron. So you want to get? Oh, so we're going. We're gonna go, Myron Cunningham, offense tackle out of Arkansas. He could play both sides too, right? right. Yeah, he his footwork is more for left, but he can do both. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. Kirk, oh, we got sixty four and sixty five. Yeah. All right. This is like the fourth. This is what the third year in a row we've had back to back picks somewhere in the draft. Yep. Obviously, Elam's not available, is he? No, he's gone. He's for first round. Kennedy he's Brooks, there. running back, Oklahoma. Oh, ooh. hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. These are the best players available right here. I don't give a fuck. I have my pick. <laughs> Bro, we went for a fourth round pick in the second. <laughs> That's very Raiders right there. Give me Abram Smith from Baylor. Where's he at? Running back. Shit. Oh, 175 right there. Right there. He's right okay. there. Okay. I'm not mad about that. Let me see. Damn, I'm over here going blind with these fucking glasses on. Because you're corny as shit. Fuck you. <laughs> you, got, you got glasses on too. <laughs> Motherfucker. Um, I, see, I, I, might I, go guard, I might go guard right here. I, I like Donovan West out of Arizona State, and I think, I think Pierce may be beating the table for him too. Um, Donovan West is nice. Let me see. Who's making a trade? We need a corner, bro. Is is go up? I think you're hella far, bro. Josh Thompson is still there from Texas. Sean Jolly's still there from App State. He's nice. I like him. I like him. And and, and um, the thing Does about he have a him, though, profile? the thing uh, the thing about there's nothing on him. The thing about him is I'd say Jalen Watson to be honest with you, but. The thing about Sean Jolly, and, and mind you guys, Scout is an actual scout there at Appalachian State. He said this guy can look like fucking Deion Sanders one day and then look like – Inconsistency. Don't yeah. fuck with it. Don't so, fuck with it. Bro, so, we're the Raiders. Fuck with it, bro. So uh, let me see, man. I'm going to go back to corner. We need a corner. Bro, it's it's a fourth, fifth-round pick, bro. No fucking – Oh, matter. you know what? Jermaine Waller's still there too. I might have to get him. Two Wallers? I'll fuck with it. Damn, we took him a lot and a lot. Of I'd go with Vincent Gray from Michigan or Jermaine Waller from fucking Virginia Tech because those are both good DB schools. But yeah, yeah you're right. That's why I'm gonna go Sean Jolly. <laughs> fucking Sean Jolly from where? Who's that? This is the last pick. Hey, this is the last pick. Everybody, everybody. App State. Wow. Damn, that was a quick ass draft, bro. What the fuck, bro? We started choosing stupid shit. <laughs> no, no, we only did five picks. 
Oh, hey, hey. Uh, Nasir uh, Greer. Uh, uh, where? What the fuck? This is, yeah, this is a, this mock Safety out of Wake Forest. He's, he's, oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, Greer's here in the seventh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Just check for this. Hold on. Damn, Jermaine Waller's still there, too. Hold on. Check for this. Check for and this. Brian Cook is nice, too. Safety out of uh, Cincinnati. He's nice. I like right. Nasir Greer, though. I, I like this, him. Check for this motherfucker. Hold on. He's uh, he's he's following in Nicholas Morrow's footsteps. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I definitely see us trading back. I, yes. I, I, don't, I don't think it's drafted at, at twenty two is even an option, bro. If you if you look at the mock that I did on my channel, holy fuck, bro. We went Chad Muma, bro. It was perfect, bro. It was perfect. It was literally perfect. Who who who'd you have in the first three rounds? I traded out of the of the first. I ended up with three second round picks. <laughs> oh, that's a dream right there. Hey, uh, is Tyquan Thornton available? Wide receiver from Baylor. Oh, you remember we got him last time. He's a beast, dude. You 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 really big on him, bro. Let me let me see. My guy's still there, Reggie Robertson out of uh, uh, out of SMU. Um, is Tyquan gone? He might be gone. Yeah, he might be out of there. Yeah, he out. Yeah, he's gone. I'd go D tackle if I were you guys. I know, but what kind of do you think we're gonna get a good D tackle in round seven? You might get a Tommy Kelly. Yeah, that's true. All right, let me go to defense. Let me see. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, it's a Taekwon Miller. My fucking thought. I'm you trying can. to find this draft, bro. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to corner. I'm I'm taking Jermaine Waller, bro. You double dip at corner, bro. You got two young corners. I do it. Do it. Do it. Hold on. Let me see if that's – let me see if – Um. okay, so Nasir Green is still there, too. That's still an option, man. Reed Blankenship is nice, too, out of Middle uh, Tennessee. We got – So, look. So, look. The, the, the draft, the mock that we had, fucking overload. It's stacked, dog. We got Chad Muma. We got um Devontae Wyatt, George Pickens, Verone McKinley, Cade Mays, Cam Taylor Britt out of Nebraska yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jr. One more time, bro. My, my bad. Bro, it was fucking amazing. So we got Chad Muma. That that was pick 36. I forgot. Who the fuck picked Bailey Zap? Me. Oh my God, dude. That's my guy. Motherfucker, you picked Leo Chanel in the second round. In the second, bro. He's a proven fucking all conference fucking linebacker. Bailey Zapp is a fucking product of a fucking offense. Hey, he's an air raid guy. It's cool. Bring him in and groom him. Bro, look, look. This fucking pick 36, we got Chad Muma. Pick 52, we had Devontae Wyatt. 53, Ooh. George Pickens. Uh, uh, 86, Verone McKinley. Uh, 125, Cade made versatile as fuck. And uh, 164, Pierre Strong is a running back. Yeah. And then... Okay. Let's Cam, do it. Oh, Cam are Taylor we, Britt. Are we, are we talking about our draft or your draft? His. Let, let's do this. Right now, we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. With trades, bro, but okay. we got to be serious as fuck because these trades could actually hit. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. One more. We're going to do one more. I traded with – I traded with – I traded with Green Bay and New York. Okay. Hold on. We're going to go seven Andy, are we, are, we, are we doing – it's your draft right now? That was the one that I was able to do on my channel earlier. Okay. Now, look, you guys, no, no. right now, Tennessee is offering for the 22nd, the 26th pick, and 130. Do it. No. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at the other offers. We have three offers. 29. Oh, wait. 86? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. They want 86, too. Damn. No, take the first one. I fucking that's what I said. I could rock with Seattle's offer, dog. So like get 2023. Yeah, see, I, I don't like doing round. trades with the with this with the extra in the in yeah, the but you year. get 41 and 72 though. You can get the second 22nd pick though with the fucking first offer. Hold on. Tyler Linderbaum is on the board for some Ooh. reason. Okay, so what, what what do you do with him? Do you do you... who is that? The, the best a, center, the best center in the draft. I thought we had. I thought we were cool with our center. Man, no, 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 George, Andre James, motherfucker. You got a three-year deal. Though. I mean, what do you do? Moving the guard or some shit? Nah, you say get your ass on up out of here. Okay, so so look, no trade. 
Nicobe Dean, Traylon Burke's still there. I, I, I do the trade with Tennessee, man. No, I would not, bro, because you're not gaining the second. 130 is an extra third, right? No, that's a fourth at that point. Is it? Third. But we're we're only going we're only going down four picks from what we have right now. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, well, hold Linder, on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we're gonna do. Let's counter this shit. All right. Instead of 130. You gotta well, give me you gotta give me 90, give them 225. You, there's no way they're taking that. Bro, so, they're still this shit is stupid, dog. <laughs> give them 125. Yeah, that's valid. No way. One, no 125 way. and 225. I'm going to try, try without it. <laughs> Declined. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, what do I know? Oh, yes. 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 Accept the shit out of that. Wait. So to go to 30, we're going to we, we pick, pick 30 and 103. Drake London's on the board. Burks is on the board right now. Trevor Penning is on the board, bro. Ooh. Well, then take who you guys want with the fucking pick we have. Hold on. We got three offers. Okay, so 26. Ooh. Fuck the Saints. That's a bunch yeah. of 2023 shit. I don't even want to do that. All right, pick 32 and then another. Yeah, no. so the only one I'm looking at is Kansas City. Is it worth 103? Hold on. Let's counter that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, put 62 on that bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> All right, well, well let's go. Said, Fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bro, Trevor Penny and Traylon Burks, you got to do something with those two. Okay, let me see something real quick, though. Let me counter this one instead. Let's see if we can get well, a third. No, who, do you, who do you want? I mean, pick who you want right now, man. Take them. Confirm Damn. that shit, bro. Oh, yeah, they ain't fucking with me. All right, we get we fuck the Chiefs. All right. All right. Take this who you want. I, me you got Penny or Burks? I'm taking Burks, bro. I, I like Penny. You got to take London. Damn, Winfrey's down there, too. Um, Burks. All right, we got our guy. Who'd you take? Burks. No, dude, I'm not doing this. Yeah, you got two. Yeah. You got two offers? No. Hell no. Those are nuts. Hey, Cameron Thomas is there. Edge from – bro, they're saying that this guy may be – they're saying this guy may be the next JJ Watt. Hold bro, on. he's hold he's on. a he's a he's the guy, bro. Devontae Wyatt is down there too. But hold on. You got Malcolm Coons on the roster, brother. I know. I know. Cameron Thomas from SDSU. Devontae bro. Wyatt, bro. Hell no. No, no, no. That's my guy. Trust me. That's my guy. I just want to see. I want I want Stu to see Cameron Thomas. Fuck the bullshit. Hey, Go get Devontae I, Wyatt. <laughs> 11 and a half sacks. Take him. Monster. <laughs> Andy said, what the fuck? All right, bro, right. I, I'd get Wyatt, bro. No, I know. But it, that fits a need. We have, we already have Yannick and Max, and we have. Dude, San Diego State guys are good in the league, bro. I know. Marshall Falk. I mean, look. There's a Marshall, Marshall Falk, Kirk, Kirk Morrison, fucking. Uh, 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 hey, they said for the next J.J. Watt, fuck Coons. <laughs> For real though, that's real shit. Okay, hey, Trey McBride. David Bell. David Bell's available. We already, Take we already that took, motherfucker. Right we already now. took Burke. We already took Burks in the first round. Hey, 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 oh fuck my Purdue. God, are you... Y'all tripping, man. Why does Verone McKinley keep going to fucking New England, dog? Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on. He's hold still on. there. He's still there, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Ah! Hey, this may be the best fucking draft. We ever. got pick ninety two, bro. So, hey, take that. take that. Take, take it. that. Take it. Take it. Okay. Take it. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that's a good one. Brandon Smith is there, linebacker. Do we have to get a linebacker? Oh, what the fuck? Where is – where is – Bro. Fuck, why does everybody – We don't have a linebacker. Guys? Brandon Smith is there, bro. Linebacker, bro. That's my guy. Bailey Zett. <laughs> Do not take – take your linebacker, bro. Yeah. Not, but... uh, no, hey, hey. I'm telling you, you guys know. Play Penn, Walker. Penn State is a fucking factory for linebackers, bro. Brandon Smith is a monster, dog. He's just saying that because Michael Parsons. Boom. Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 Stu, Stu, Stu. This is his draft, right? Now. Take that shit. Take it. Right. Hell yeah, take it. All right. What are you doing right here? Andy? Okay, Mays. We're fucking dumb. Hold Bailey's at. 
What round is this now? <laughs> Bailey Zap. Bro, Bailey Zap is there, bro. What round? Oh, is wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. John Ridgeway is 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 Sultan's guy, bro. John Ridgeway, he's yeah. like 6'6, 315 or 320, bro. He's Take a him. mean. Take him. He's a mean nose tackle, dog. Take him. Where is Take he? Him. Uh, John Ridgeway, Arkansas. Okay. Yeah, look, look, at look, at his, look at his profile, bro. Look at his profile. We don't need fucking zap. That's fine. But it's not for uh, Arkansas. Let's decide. Six, the six, three, twenty. Take that, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Immediately fit and Razorback teammates in the SEC. The ease of this transition has been impressive and is something that magnifies his appeal. With the size, Ridgeway has great length. Early reports list his arms around 34, 34 inches. inches. That length allows Ridgeway to, to levy violent extensions against his opponents, and he has the strength to disengage as well. With the decent first step, Ridgeway can carry a great deal of momentum into his rushes, and his well-proportioned frame makes him tough and he to can move. Play, he can play a fucking 3-4 or a 4-3 D-tackle. Yep. Hey, so we got two D, We got two D-tackles. I like that. We need a corner, you guys. Uh, uh, okay, let's let's. Is Cam Taylor Britt there? Go to go to position. See see who's there. We need a corner bad. He Marcus, is Cam hey, Taylor Britt. Michael jo Michael. Hey Marcus Jones is there too. I like Nebraska, bro. He can do hit. Not do, a, do not do do not do a Houston cornerback. Do, I know. Do I know. I Don't know. do it. Boom. We got our corner. I can't see. What you mean? Oh oh, you can't see Andy. Man, you can't we got back to back. We, we can get Marcus Jones right here too. We got back to back picks. I was gonna oh, say, no. Andy, yeah, we, yeah. We're, did, are you headless right now? Oh, it's because the it's because the the comment is is oh, covering shit, my oh, face. Shit, oh, shit, hold on. Well, no, I see it. Jermaine oh, Waller, bro. Okay. Jermaine Waller, bro. So yeah, like, that's what I was thinking about going to get him again. Or hold on, let's see. Okay, we we got two DTs. We got an edge. We got a receiver. We got a linebacker, and we got a corner. All right, what go about, go go, go QB, go QB with Baylor all the next picks. What about that Baylor running back? Oh, Abram Smith. He's there. Get him. Get him. I like I like Abram Smith. Get him, dude. Okay, let's I, go get a running back. Boom. We got another pick. All right, so now we're gonna go. Hey, fuck it, bro. Let's look at another receiver. Hey, look at your boy. <laughs> hey, look at your boy Tyquan Thornton, bro. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, this is exactly how it goes down in the fucking <laughs> in the, no dead ass. I guarantee I'm it. I'm blind. What you Donovan mean? West is still there. I'm gonna have to Next get safety as a guard. Oh, Justin Schaefer is there too from Georgia. Um, no, I get West. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm gonna get my guy West. Bro, we have so many picks. How many picks do we fucking? <laughs> hey, Donald Partham is still there too. Okay, uh, I know we got mad picks. Get All a receiver. Right. Get a, I'd say, or a corner receiver, a corner. I Kyle corner. Phillips is the next Renfro. Who said that? I don't know. Look up Kyle Phillips. It's Kyle Phillips. Ar Arto, Megatarian. Is he there still? Oh, he out of there. Yeah. Um, is that last name Armenian? Uh, uh, Megatarian. Uh, Bubba Bubba Bolden is there too. Yep, do it, do it. That's my guy. What about Safety, right? What about Safety? Taekwon from Baylor? He's there. We need another corner, man. We're, we're our I say corner. corner. I say corner. Yeah, our corner room is thin. I'm just gonna go I grab Wallace. You All can't right. have enough corners, dude. Trust me. Yeah, I know. Two twenty-five. We still got more picks, bro. Fuck. All right. Hey, um, it is Armenian. See, I know my shit, bro. So we can get not we can get not see a green a gear a green right here. Yeah, let's do it, bro. Oh, bro, do we still got more picks? <laughs> we got one more, bro. Oh nope, nah. that's a fire ass draft. So, bro, Cameron Thomas in the third bro, round. What the fuck? He, he gonna be probably going to the fucking first at the at the most the second, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Traylon Burks, Devontae White, Cameron Thomas, Brandon Smith, John Ridgeway, Cam Taylor, Britt, Abram Smith, Donovan <laughs> West, Jermaine, bro. What in the fuck did we just do? That's that's. Hey, that's all I'm gonna say, if if Ziegler does some shit like this, motherfucker. He, no, he he ain't as fucking dope as we are. Fuck that, dude. Andy, did you look up the safety from Oregon earlier? I did. He's he's five eleven though. He's low key small. But five eleven. No, we don't need that. We don't know. But that then they started. Good. But then they started hitting me with Earl Thomas five nine. Uh, uh, Tyron Matthew five ten. There's some ballers. Hey, 
That's the best. That's the best draft I ever been a part of, bro. How, how many picks did we get? Basically, One, first two, five three, pick four, steals. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten picks. The other draft we had five picks. Bro, we got three oh. first. We got three first rounders in the first three rounds. I mean, the first. Like, <laughs> we got Traylon Burks, Devontae Wyatt, Cameron Thomas. All these guys. Can, can you save that or print that out or somehow or? Yeah, yeah. let me. Trading down is how you do it, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bro, because there's a team that's so desperate for one guy that they're willing to give up all X amount of shit to get, get one guy, and they end up giving up tell a chance. Tell me you wouldn't give up a mid to late first rounder for two second round picks. Fucking absolutely. All day. Yeah, fuck that, bro. Take take that shit. Bro, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if N'Kobe Dean, Lloyd – uh, Davis, Burks, Burks won't be there. Trade back at that point. Trade back. They put up Stormtrooper FN 2817, 28. Yeah, fire draft. Fuck yeah, dude. That shit was crazy, bro. That was insane. Is there a way to react to like a film of people or like highlights without getting copyrighted on this bitch? We can do you, you still got, you still got, uh, I think, I think for like what 10. I got, I got our highlights. Yeah. I mean, I got our film. Damn, see, bro, we got, we got, what is it, all 22 or whatever, or? Yeah, I have it, I have it on a, a, a email. Bro, we, we got to start doing that, bro. I know, I think, I think the three of us could low-key do some shit like that, but, but it's kind of tough, bro, though. Because... we can do that, and literally, bro, we could do it once a week, me and Stu do a show, bro, and we can simulcast it from all of our fucking pages, bro. That's right, no, yeah, that that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like real shit. I, I see the simulcast though. I feel like we're better off doing one one on each channel because I feel like then every week one channel gets mad love. You feel me? So it's like I, I like that better. I like that better because one channel then you got everybody on one side. You feel me? And then it's hella new viewers. Yeah. I would I would say probably on Doxes then. I mean, leave no, it no, we'll, we'll do it week by it's week. It's one on each, like yeah. one oh. week. Oh, yeah, we, we did it. We did it with the NorCal coalition. One week yeah. it was mine, the next week it was Andy's. Following week, ready to take Wi Fi's. It just kind of yeah. in order. Yeah, we should do that, bro. That'd, because, that'd be but, but the thing is, I had to hit up Sanji to see if he has more film. But I have all the film of all of our games, just our games. So, what I did when we hired Patrick Graham was I looked at our game against New York, yep. and I was just, I looked at every single defensive play that New York ran against us. And that's what I did, but it's like we didn't play. We didn't play New England this year, so I'm not able to see what New England ran. You feel me? On on stream. Yeah, I seen that video you had too. That uh, it, bruh. Hey, Patrick Graham put a great defense up against us with a lot of his players out. They were hurt. Mm-hmm. Bro, Xavier McKinney was like an All Pro against us. Put up even a couple plays just to that. Just to, I, I'd like to dissect something right now. To be honest with you, bro, like if, if we want to do something like that, we could do it and just not monetize the video. I mean, I mean, it, we it, can, it, but bro, the thing yeah, is, like, yeah, no, yeah. You, you could do it, but if we are to watch like shit, I don't want to risk none of our shit to get like, um, striked. striked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cause if they demonetize it, fuck it, I don't care. But 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 I don't want to get that shit striked. Like I don't, we don't need nobody's page going down. Yeah, that'd be that'd fucking suck. Well, we gotta figure it out. I know first, I know all twenty two is different, bro. We can use that, like, like that's because you. Bro, look, 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 look. Let me let me tell you. You know how when you do the the share screen on this, uh huh. All I do because my first one when I did it against the Bengals, it got demonetized. But all I had to do was that little. You know how it's a little pop up that says Streamyard is sharing your screen. Yeah. Put that shit on the top left that covers the NFL Game Pass, bro. You're chilling, bro. Oh shit. There's always ways to work around all this shit, though. It, it, like, it is. Bro, I, I, there's no way. Like, I need to talk to Wi-Fi because, bro, he puts shit up on his shit all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I got to figure well, out. Well, bro, how... he got mad technology that he's using, though. I, that's what I'm saying. I got to figure out what, it, what what he's using. I'm going to hit him in the chat. I'm going to ask him, like, bro, what's up? Um, Flick. Because, cause, hold on. Let me see if I could send you that shit real quick because I think I think you'd be able to um, pull it up right now. You got the plague. Fuck you, motherfucker. That motherfucker's <laughs> itching the shit hey, out of his back. We're using Pro Football Network. That's some old man shit right there, bro. That's some old man shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 
<laughs> you got the full old. That's the old stick, bro. Hey, my grandma used to have that motherfucker that's sitting. A bear on, claw. Yeah, sitting on her armchair, bro. That's fucking hilarious, hey. bro. Hey, Grav, how many unread emails you got, bro? Oh my god, dog. I, 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 that it's disrespectful. He's got. Bro. He's got like thirty-four. My shit has thirteen thousand, bro. <laughs> I have twenty-six thousand, and I deleted. And I deleted most of them. I got rid of a bunch of shit. This shit crazy, bro. But I, got, <laughs> but I got four different emails, so this shit crazy. Um, I, dude, I'm rocking the tucked in shirt nowadays, bro. <laughs> You're not, hey, bro. You can't do that shit around me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. You tripping? I can't even. Hey, if, I, if I forward that email, you'll be able to see it, right? Yeah. You gonna try? You gonna send it over? Yeah, you're you're gonna be in a group with um a bunch of us. All right. Can what, you read? What's your email? It's my uh my last uh it's A R G. Here I'll put, uh -huh. I'll put it on the screen, bro. All right. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Right, Assault go. rifle gun. Fucking stupid. That's <laughs> fucking cool. Kenny, we'll definitely do that at some point, brother. I promise you. I got you. you Share with one want? person. One draft. You comment, edit. If you view it, is that just enough? Uh, I'm going to yeah. send it, bro. You tell me if it works. All right. Let me see. And the thing is, bro, is that you know how when we're doing the mock drafts, how that takes up hella internet on your computer? Yeah. Since it's, since it's on email, that shit don't take up nothing, bro. So your stream runs smooth as hell. All right. I just got it. Let me see. Okay. Damn, that's hella shit, bro. Yeah. It's every every single week. So this is all of our games? Yeah. Oh, bro. Y'all just play something then, motherfucker. You just cracked the fucking code, bro. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> he said shut up. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. <laughs> motherfucker. But um our our playoff, hold on. So week nine is week nine is our week eight game because week eight we had a bye, just so you know. Let me see some. Bro, Dude, yeah, hey, yeah, play that shit. Let's see. This is when Jacoby Brissett almost fucking smoked us, though. So this is the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, you know but still, you know what, like fucking stitchy it is. Yeah. That's terrible. I, I, that's I it sucks. It it were it's fine once you get on the the back angle of 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 the R twenty two. Yo, this shit is crazy though. Yeah, see, it's fine when you get on that angle. It's still choppy as shit though, bro. You just blind as fuck. It look good as shit. Yeah, you're like tripping, God. bro. You you got that back scratcher fucking shirt tucked in. You all <laughs> fucked up, bro. You are you're all fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> so hey, yeah. We gotta do this, at, bro. We gotta do this at some point, then, bro. But like, this is the thing, though, bro. This is the thing. This is hey, this, this is just like our film, and like seventy six. Go back to that. He fucked the whole fucking play up. Hold on. Hey, but the fucked up thing is, you guys. This we, we're running all new systems now. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like this isn't even the same fucking team anymore. Yeah. You said he fucked the playoffs too. Seventy six did the last play. Seventy six fucks up a lot of plays. Look at Mariota. So look, the reason why I watched New York was because that's that's our new defense. Hey, pussy, hey, go, sorry, go back. Hey, 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 put put New York's film up. Huh? Put New York's film up so that Stu can watch that. All right, let me take let it off. Corner, come up. Go hit him. Let me take, I'm gonna take it down real quick because I don't want people to see my fucking email. Hold on. But but bro, when you're doing that, bro, move move the little stream yard shit. Move move that shit to the bottom to the top left, bro. So it doesn't show NFL game pass on the top left. This a hey, Shane Quat Shane Quintero. I have tw I have fucking uh 10 20 vision, motherfucker. So I don't need six eyes. That's trash. I ain't gonna lie. Hey Stu, if you were in the lead today, what, what would you wear? 39 or something else? That's a good question, man. I I was nine, but 
when I see single digits, it makes me feel like it's not the NFL. You know what I mean? Like, I like the fucking 20 to 49 SDBs and 20 to 49. Yeah, make sure you cover up that, that game pass shit that's on the top left. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to figure it out before I – I'm, I'm going to do this the next time we jump on. I don't want to – Fuck around with it like that. I don't yeah, because because hey, nothing's hey, gonna. Bulldog, Bulldog said, "Hide those uh, hashtag booty hole emails, docs." Because because nothing nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Like you won't get strike. They'll just demonetize the shit. Yeah. Hey, well, when you do this shit for a living, bro, that's it's, it's like getting a strike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Well, bro, um, I'm, I'm I'm down as fuck. The three the three of us or whoever the fuck. Yeah. All of us break that shit down. I'm. You know who else I'd like to bring on with us at some point? Uh, do, you, do you remember I had my boy Sharice right on? That used to he was a corner for the Raiders. Yeah, he was a corner for the Texans. He said he wanted to come on with Stu at some point too. It'd be cool to bring him on. Who is it? Uh, Sharice Wright. Remember, remember my boy that uh, was corner for the Raiders, played corner for the Texans, played at USC. Remember oh, you were yeah, asking? Yeah, him? yeah, yeah, yo, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna bring yeah. him in to break down some of this film. Yeah, no, he know. was cool. You know, he was cool as shit. Hey, you seen your your boy? Uh, uh, the offensive lineman from Jacksonville had Del Rio on the show today. Did he really? Yeah. Uh, Khalif? Yeah. Uh, no, not Khalif. Oh, um, Uche. Uche. No shit. He had fucking Jack on? Yep. He had Jack on. No shit. That's fucking dope. It was a good show. I went over and checked it out. Fuck his ass. Fucking. Damn, Mike. Hell. Oh, pause, bro. Motherfucker says, Stu, pull my link. Thanks. Whoa. What's that? <laughs> Come on, Link. Well, wait, hey, hey, Grav, you know, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? The, the when you do the share screen, like when you go on Google, yeah, you, you can screen. move it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what just put that shit on the top left. Okay, that's it. Dude, come on, man. I heard and, you. And don't and one. don't move your screen until you're done sharing the screen. All right. I, I got to still... I got so much shit. Yo. Dude, are you awake? <laughs> bro, I'm saying no. Come we on. Gotta, we we got to we gotta get Brandon yeah. Williams from Baltimore. Oh, yeah. How do... Uh, on your... I got it. Tell him I'm going to send it to his Twitter right now. He's... You're he, he getting on your Twitter right now. Yep. Do, Docs is sending it to you right now. Docs is iPhone. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to him. He said they talked about the Raiders too. So let's I want to hear what fucking Jack what, had. Uh, how you spell Uche name again? U C H A E. U C H E. Got him. Damn, what the fuck? Hold on. They said to drop hoodie merch, grab. Huh? They said drop hoodie merch. I'm up, shit. I got a bunch of hoodies, but I had to take my website down. I'm uh I'm putting a bunch of new stuff on there. So did I'm, you find I, it? Did you find it, Graf? Yeah, I sent it to him. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's dope. Then we'll, we'll, we got some more time, you guys. We'll be on for a little bit. For those who don't know, this is Uche. Good people, man. Former Jacksonville Jaguar, former former Dallas Cowboy offensive lineman. Uh, former. Yeah, former what? Uh, oh, oh no, Purdue man. Let me talk about that shit, man. Former former Boilermaker, you know what I mean? All that shit. Andy, went to, this pussy, this motherfucker. He should have went to Notre Dame. Uh, fifth round pick, you know, a Del Rio guy. Del Rio is the one that drafted him in the, out of the fifth round. So there you go. But uh, I just sent him a link. I know he'll probably pull up here in a second. We'll get we'll get some uh we'll get some shit in with him. But yeah, it, it was a good show. I, I didn't get to see all of it. But, um, oh, you said they talked about some of they talked uh, Raiders on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll Uche. get the in, we'll get the inside scoop on what the fuck Uche was talking about the fucking Raiders because he has fucking no right to fucking say anything about the fucking Raiders because he never fucking played for the Raiders. When when did he retire? Uh. Did he did did he really formally retire? I don't think he formally retired. Well, I don't think any of us formally retired. Yeah, I mean, I'm still eligible. Fucking Stu, he just pulled out some fucking coke in the locker room and was like, "This is it." Just walk uh, out. No, I, dude, I, I hey, didn't. Hey, hey, who we got, Stu or Jeff Heath? 
I'm taking Stu all day. Dude, Jeff Heath is from fucking. He went to Saginaw Valley State University. I Jeff know. Heath, low key a baller, dog. He, he, Dude, when he, I own when I owned the Saginaw Sting, like I was in the bathroom pissing, and and Jeff Heath was playing for Saginaw Valley State, and he's like, "Holy shit, that's too fucking Stuart Swagger, man." And then I tried to call him, and he never called me back. So I'm like, "Fuck you, motherfucker." Hey, I, to me, he, he he's a good, he's a great special teams player. He, he, he was a, a good, bro. He led our team in interceptions. That says that doesn't say a lot on that badass defense, bro. Well, he had one. Oh, Jeff Heath, and, Jeff Heath, and Nicholas Morrow were the greatest players on that defense. That that, that says a lot, bro. Um, I, I, you remember the offseason that me and Ray were going back and forth about fucking Kwiatkowski and Morrow, dog? That shit was hilarious. <laughs> Hey, and then they both ended up not really Neither playing at all. They played a snap. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were fucking. Hey, y'all, y'all was fighting over that shit, bro. But I think, I think. So, hey, Uche's last year was 2014 with the Cowboys. Oh, okay. Hold on. If he ever played the Raiders that hey, year, hey, Uche no, had me dying, man. He said that he said that Tony Romo was a dickhead. Get your ass out of here, motherfucker. Let's go. Let me, let me, all right, I'm coming in. I'll see the link right now. All right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I was like, I like Tony Romo on fucking Monday night. He's like, he's a fucking asshole. I'm like, he's, he's a fucking douche. He was like, he was like, yeah, he's a fucking dork. Bro, they got to stop letting him call Cowboys games, bro. That's the most biased shit on earth. Yeah, it's like fucking Derek Carr's brother talk, uh, talking for him. Yes, bro. You played for the Raiders. I did. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> he's he's trolling. He's trolling your life away right now, bro. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Uche had on uh, Del Rio. That's that's why we're gonna talk to Uche and ask him uh, what he said about the Raiders. Facts. Real quick, man. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. Still, man. Shout out to y'all. Um, ripe and feet, you guys hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, go support Raiders Football Talk, our brother Andy on YouTube, and go support our brother Stuart Schweiger's channel. Both of them motherfuckers is lit. And then when Uche comes on, you guys go support him as well. He has a great channel uh, where he talks a lot about the NFL in general. My fucking channel at all, please do not. Yeah, because Stuart Stu only pops up about once or twice every three months. Y'all can eat my fucking dick. <laughs> Bro, Stu's Stu's motherfucker is the funniest shit on earth. <laughs> That's the fu bro. That is the funniest shit in the world, though, bro. Straight up facts. Dave said, "Motherfucker." Oh. He said, "Triggered." <laughs> Fifty cent became a dollar. Hey, this is facts. He was bloated as fuck on that um, <laughs> halftime uh, performance. Facts. Oh, really? Bro, he looked crazy. Bro, bro. did you not want to watch the Super Bowl, my man? I, I no, I, I, dude, I had, I had my own shit going on over here, man. I, I didn't watch none of that game. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was, wasn't Eminem on there too. Yeah, yeah. Eminem was there. How was Eminem doing? Was he? Oh, look, they just did the same old ass songs, bro. Like, I'm sorry, like I, I didn't, I didn't catch the nostalgia wave, bro. Like, they did, they did, uh, uh, up in the club, Fifty Cent. They did. Uh, uh, all the old Snoop and Dr. and Dre shit. Like I just wasn't. I was waiting for the hologram, man. That's why I'm disappointed. Uh, I'm uh, waiting on the pop hologram. hologram. Yeah, man. And it didn't come. Okay, you know what? And the fucked up thing. You know why I was mad? You know why I think I say the whole halftime shit was trash? Because they kept teasing it. So Dre would go. Da -da 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 -da. He played a piano. I had the. I ain't mad at you. And I'm like, oh shit, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, and then he go. Da -da -da. Then, then he go right into another song. And I'm like, oh okay. And then he come back. California. I'm like, oh shit, here it comes. And then they go to another song. I'm like, you motherfuckers, bro. They were really trolling, bro. They were trolling. They were definitely trolling, man. Um, what, what am I going to get banned for saying? Stu about to get banned for saying that. On what? What'd I say? What? What? Eat my dick? Is that is that how you get banned? I don't, I don't know. If, if so, shit, eat, yeah, who gives a fuck? Like, fuck it. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, oh, there it is. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> What's up, brother? All the Raiders in here, Raider Nation. Hey, yeah. so we were talking. What's funny is I was like, hey, I was like, you didn't see uh, Uche's uh, show earlier? He was like, nah. I said, you know, he had Del Rio on there. I went to go check it out. 
I didn't get to watch all of it, but I, I was yeah. I was watching the beginning stages pretty much when he was talking about drafting you. Um, you guys were talking a little bit. You had another guest on there as well. Um, yeah, J Justin Blaylock. He's my co-host. There you go. Oh, He's, shit. Uh, that was great. oh yeah. Yeah, that's Blaylock from Atlanta. Yeah, me and him, we both from Dallas. We both got drafted the same year. And uh, I mean, we we lived like 10 minutes from each other in Dallas when we was when we was in high school. So yeah, you know, me and him been cool. We both in Atlanta. Huh? Did you go to the same high school or nah nah? We didn't go to the same high school. We didn't go to the same high school. He went to Plano East. I went to Naaman Forest. Okay. My high school was garbage, bro. Like, you know, it's crazy. My high school was garbage. I mean, Graf, Graf, you're in Dallas, aren't you? Yeah, I, um, I live in Frisco, like the Frisco area, though. Yeah, I'm, I was in Garland. Yeah, so you weren't you weren't too far from me. Yeah, I worked yeah, in Garland I used to work right in there Plano, in, in West Plano, not East Plano, but um, but yeah, that's where Frito Lay is, right? That's where Eric Harris is. What, you talking about? Uh, he was yeah, he was in East Plano, Plano East. He Plano, went to Plano, Plano East High School. That was where Frito Lay is, isn't it? Or no? No, not oh, out here. Shit, I don't know. Yes, it is. Like I went. <laughs> I, I went back to Dallas for what for Christmas, and that was uh, shit. That was that's the that's the first time I've been back to Dallas since twenty eighteen. <laughs> you're in the A now. I don't know right? where nothing is, huh? You're in the A now, right? You in Atlanta? Yeah, I'm in the A. I'm in the A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been in ATL home. since uh, twenty fourteen. That's my second home right there. I lived ten. I lived out there for ten years, man. Well, that's my spot. Actually, I I don't know if you still do, but you, he had a a nightclub in Atlanta. A, a I very had two of them. A, a no, I, I closed club. those though. Yeah. Well, because you're yeah. you're you're gonna be dead if if you if you. Do. Yeah, I, I, that shit will kill I, you. I, I, that shit will kill you. I, I was security. <laughs> I was security in all the strip clubs, bro. So I know, like that shit was spooky, bro. Like in all it's, of them. It's just not a. It's not a like you can only do that kind of lifestyle. For, for a couple of years, for like, yeah, for like, bro, and I did it for eight years, bro. Yeah. For eight years, I had, and my club was like one of the most popular in Atlanta. Okay, like, you know, I've had Migos, all kinds of, coming, yeah, Migos and fucking Nelly. And Migos, Migos, which club uh, was it? Anchor Bar. Bro, you had Anchor. Yeah, that was mine. Okay, Both no, of them. I worked with you with, with Mario. Valet. Oh, with Mario, so what else on uh, with yo, with yo, with Mario, bro, come on, Ooch, I remember you, bro. I used to be over there all every <laughs> night, bro, working with you, world, bro. Dude. That's crazy. Hey, tell yeah, hey, Anchor hey, you, Bar, you remember, bro. When, uh, you remember when KO went over there? With, with uh, 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 Assembly went there. Uh, uh, the guard from the Raiders went one night, one night with the two white girls. Yeah, two little, uh, two chicks with her. Ooch, I remember, bro. I used to work with you, bro. I used to work with you, bro. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> then you then you know you know Yo, it was that crazy. Shit. Hey, we used to get him for bar was so cold. We, hey, we was charging motherfuckers arm and leg to park over there. It was crazy. We crazy. was charging motherfuckers a hundred dollars to park in a, free, hey, in a free spot. <laughs> <laughs> and don't it ain't free tonight. <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. But that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I, you, I know you remember Mario and, and the whole ballet squad. And uh, yeah, bro. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm oh yeah, really... oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so you worked with Mario? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked with Mario, hey, that's bro. My, that that motherfucker was my guy. Yeah, bro. Yo, me and yo be out there. Our whole team would have pistols on us. Everybody. Hey, bro. Team. You know, I used to tell people that because they'd yeah. be like, "Man, how do you guys do it?" I said, "Look, y'all don't understand. Anchor, we are a team. We're like yes, a football bro. team. Yes. Everybody hey, has bro, everybody's from back. The, from, from the from everybody the has a pistol on them. From the everybody. cooks in the back. From the cooks in the back." To everything, everybody, everybody. The bottle girls, head. shit. The bottle yeah. girls got pistols and they bat. And, but see, we all know that though. The everybody knows. Girls like, have pistols. Yeah. It, no, bro. only one of them did. Only one of them. She was the vet. She was the OG. Bro. So she had hers in the back. Hey, this. I had, bro, I had a Tech Nine in, in my in my backpack. I would come in there hey, with a Tech the, Nine the in my backpack. No, no. Bro, hey, hey, Ooch, would you still own it when um when the what was it the governor his daughter got killed? Yeah, bro, that was yeah, bro. That, that was like crazy. that was the that was like my motherfucking bro. My anxiety went through the roof, bro. bro it had nothing, Mario, to, do had nothing to do with us. It had nothing to do with us. Yeah, Mario Kart got hit. The, the windshield got yeah. hit. Bro, it was it was crazy out there. Motherfuckers were shooting back at him in the alley across the street. Bro, it was yeah, it was happening across the street, and, and it wasn't even like it had nothing to do with us, bro. And they put it on me.
They they was like, oh, Uche Waneri's fucking anchor bar, this and this. Bruh. And I'm like, and this had is, nothing this to do with us. For, for those who don't know, this is the second anchor. There was another one around the yeah. corner. Down uh, the street. Closer to the pizza with spot. The anchor, with, the anchor, with the anchor studio in it. Yeah. I mean, with yeah. the tattoo studio in it. Bro, I literally used to do valet and help security, uh, to security that shit over there, bro. That's crazy. I remember I used to fuck with you all the time. Did you have a, a Range Rover or some shit? Or, yeah, or yeah, Range, yeah, Range yeah. and the Audi. Come on, bro. <laughs> used to used to park, used to park right there in the front by the dumpster. Yep. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Oh, that's that's like, what's up though, because shit, like a lot, like you know, my football people, they don't really know about all that, all that, but that, but that shit was lit. Like our shit was the littest shit in the city. Bro, what I mean to tell you, Bob was there every night. Um, uh, Rick Ross used to slide through. Um, uh, uh, Buster Buck, Rhymes performed. But I was there that night when Buster was there. Um, uh, Young Buck used to come through. Uh, Ti and his yep. wife. Young Buck, T. I, was there. Jim Jones. Yep. I, I remember All Young these Buck. Cats fabulous. Young Buck tried to play me one night, and he us. He see me step up on him. He was like, "Hey, I like you, bro." Young Buck got out. He got out of a Phantom right with this old thick ass chick. She was thick as shit, and and he tried to throw his. He tried to act like he was gonna throw the keys at me. I said, "Hey, homie, don't play with me like that." And young For real, said, nigga, I'm about to let that shit bounce hey, on the ground. <laughs> huh? How big was he? Oh, he, he ain't big at all. None of them cats was big. No, man. Not the only motherfucker who had any kind of size to him was, was Jim Jones. High. And that's that's yeah. that's because I mean he was you know he was lifting at that time. He was doing game. some lifting. Did the game huh? The game? Who? The game? Nah, nah, but uh Meek Mill, Meek Mill came through. He came oh, yeah. here on a Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. I used to go yeah, from there. Fabulous. <laughs> yep. Because I used to work at birthday bash weekend. Too short. Too short. Came three nights in a row. Keisha Cole was over there. Was that Keisha Cole? Cole? Hey, hey, hey Stu. One night. One night we lost Keisha Cole's van. Yes, I'm so fucking happy. We couldn't find it, bro. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, I used to go from D Live over to Anchor. Anchor down every night. Shout out to Kirk. I appreciate you. And you're right, bro. We need somebody like Alzado. This is facts. Shout out to Joe, man. Uh, what's your number 22 pick right now? Hey, Traylon Burks, man. That's my guy out of Arkansas. That is my guy. <clears throat> hey, this is crazy, though, bro. It's a small-ass world. A world. Ooh, yeah, it's crazy, though. Like, re that's really wild. That's really wild. Because, I mean, like I said, man, like, for me, I always was, like, I was always in my office. Like, I go straight to the office when I get yeah, there. Always. Because, bro, like, that shit, I, I used to have crazy anxiety in that motherfucker. Because I got to watch everything. Yeah. It's cash. Who, who, you know what I mean? Your, like, who was your partner? Because you had another partner, too. Edon. Edon, there you go. Hey, I loved Edon, but motherfuckers can stand Edon, bro. Everybody, everybody used to be hey, like, motherfucking hey, bro. He, he like, he was about to motherfucking fight every fucking like, bro. We used to have yep. BMF cats come in there all the time. Like, BM, like, and we and like, I'm cool with them cats. I know them. I'm cool with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they would be up in there, and one what of them, you know, B, you know, BKS. Oh yeah, hell yeah, bro. BKS. This motherfucker BK was like. This nigga would always run up like a three hundred dollar tab, yeah. And we'd be, and I'd let him slide because you can't, like, I'd be telling our bartenders, look, you can't go up to him at the end of the night. He drunk. He got yeah. a chick with him. You start trying to squeeze him on bread. He gonna get mad. He gonna refuse. Then you gonna come to me. Yeah. And then I'm, I mean, I ain't trying to deal with that motherfucker. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be day. like, hey, look, next yeah. week we gotta have that. You know hey, what I mean? Him and blue. and him then and he blue. tried to trip one time and eat on fight him in the parking lot. I, Edon, Edon handled his ass too. Yeah, Edon handled him. That's crazy. and it was cool though, but because it was one on one, and then they and then they dapped up at the end. BK, you know, all, BK, yeah. you know, BK was drunk. He, he didn't give a fuck. Bro, one night there, I broke my foot fighting uh, Pac Man Jones uh, partner man at Anchor Down. Oh, I broke my, my foot. I I missed like two, three months of work because Damn. One, of partners, one of his partners tried to throw some money in my face, and I beat the dog shit out of him. <laughs> But I fell backwards. I fell backwards. You know, I landed on my ankle, bro. It, it was funny. And then everybody oh went over there. E, the e and everybody, all the all the uh, valet, valet yeah, yeah. And, and Pac Pac Man was like, "Hey, they didn't stop making guns when they made Jewish motherfucker." You know, Pac Man was crazy Jeez. too. That's Pac Man was wild. That shit is. Shit, I remember when I remember when motherfucking uh when Zeke Zeke came up in that bitch one time. And that motherfucker, he came up in the middle of the off season, and he looked fat as shit. I was like. Bro, he was he came up to the office. We sit in there. I'm like, this nigga's lips are massive and they look way too wet. Like, bro, what are you eating? 
like, bro, are you going to be ready for the season? <laughs> I literally looked at him and I kind of was like, because it's like, yo, Zeke want to come up and say, and say hi. I'm like, oh, who, shit, Ezekiel man. Elliott? He's like, yeah, Zeke, Zeke. He want to come oh, say hi. It was his boy. Ezekiel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bro, I live down the street I see, I, from them guys. I see all of them. I see Dak in the liquor store. All of them yeah. be over here at the, spe the, the specs right over here all the time off of uh, bro, 380. We're, we're, were you you over about where you at? You off three eighty? Yep. Mm -hmm. Bro, these motherfuckers. When the football season's over, a lot of these cats come out to Atlanta and stay out here for weeks at a time. Yeah, definitely. Like they all come out here. They used to all. Some cats used to all come to my club and be like, yeah. "Yo, Ooch, I'm coming through." I'm like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> fifteen hundred a section, him. nigga. <laughs> bro, 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 we would charge them a hundred dollars, bro, and then park their car at the Chevron across the street. <laughs> because you already know them cats that are sitting up in the front front the ones that mm -hmm. the cats that got you know them, that's them all the motherfucking street yep. lords really yep. Real them cats shit. they already paid like 200 yep. to, to park there yeah blue, they've been doing that blue, for months blue, blue from blue from bmf used to be over there too he used to come over there all the time but that's and that parking lot was so small we used to fit a million cars Bruh, i used to tell mario i say hey man look <laughs> this is why you get 60 percent yeah, because I up. just need you to figure out how to make that shit work. Because we what remember when they, when they cut the damn when they cut the gate on the next door on the next yep. door lot. Oh, we, hey, we started balling over there, bro. Hey, we was killing it. We was killing, killing it. And just act like until we and got then caught. We tie it back up at the end of the night. Yeah, and we got caught. Oh, hey, we, we, we got caught though, bro. <laughs> hey, when we lost that hustle, I was like, damn, bro. Because really, that, that made that that made it easy to park. Hell, easy. And the whole met front. Parking lot was nothing but VIP. Yep, that's it. So it was like you put everybody on the side, have somebody just have put a car in Yo, front of the I gate. I would sit by the I would sit by the front gate and just tell people come this way, and everybody would line up and come right in and hand the dough over. Bruh, and it's like you know, hey, if you want to pay forty, go over to the side of the building. That's where you can pay twenty, forty bucks to get to park, depending on what oh, night it, it is. It's a small ass world, brother. That's crazy, man. Let me ask you this real quick, bro. I, before I start going, I can talk about that shit all night. Del Rio. I know you guys talked about some Raiders shit, right? Mm -hmm. What 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 did y'all talk about? Because I, I I didn't end up seeing that part. I watched a, a good portion of the beginning, but I didn't get a chance to hear his his thoughts on the on the, on the, the, the Raiders, man. But what happened with that? Uh, well, I mean, because I asked him about just what he thought about the situation with uh, what's the coach's name? Fancio? Fan Fancio? Uh, you talking about Vic? Yeah, Vic. Oh, Vic. Uh, oh, you talking about you talking about uh, Richie B? The, the head coach of the the, the Versace, Versace, right? Richie, uh, Richie. Versace. Yeah, that's the cat who was the that's the cat who who was the head coach this year. Interim head this coach this past yeah. year. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jack Jack told me that he thought that that he deserved a chance to really have, to like have the job because he took the team. Like nobody expected them cats to do shit, bro. Come on, no, we was all. counting the weeks. We was like, oh, it's gonna be this week. The bro, wheels we... about to fall off, and these cats yeah. just kept rolling. Mm -hmm. Y'all kept staying in it. Y'all kept. Finding ways to win, and then Derek Carr started to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. By the time y'all got to the postseason, the dude still had a decent. He had a good postseason game. He didn't no, have he a terrible good. game. That, that, that it came down to that last INT at the one. At the one, you know, it was it was ugly, but yeah. we still fought hard though. We fought hard. Yeah, I mean, and and Jack basically said that you know that he thinks that he he would he expected that he would have got a a, a more a, a more serious look. Because yeah. the culture that they had already built with him at the at the helm, the culture that they built, like it's hard, it's not as easy as you think to create that culture. So no. you know, you got a Josh McDaniels coming in there now, <sighs> bruh. Does he know how to build culture? He's failed already twice at it. Now I hope he can. Hold on, I would hold think on. that he, you know, the one thing he said that was fail, key to me. Fail, what, what do you mean failed twice at it? Denver he was head coach in Denver. And when he was the head coach in uh uh where's the other spot he was at? Um St. Louis. He was in Denver as a head coach. He went to St. Louis as a uh, as an offensive corner. But well, you he know what another he said, head, no, he's, hey, he's been a head hey, coach twice. No, what? Just once? one. Oh. But you know what he said? He goes, I learned. Yeah. I learned from that shit. That wasn't what made me think that this this might be different. What made me think it might be different is that he actually admitted his own personality fault yeah. and that he yeah. didn't know how to deal with people. Yep. And that is the big problem. Definitely. If you're, if, as a head coach, if you don't know how to deal with people, you're not going to make it Definitely. because you got to deal with a room of men. 
And then you have from your peers and your coaching staff. a lot of different staff. fucking... From a lot of backgrounds with a lot of egos and a lot of like, not, you know, and, and everybody doesn't necessarily come in like thinking their shit doesn't necessarily stink, but everybody's going to want their respect and everybody's going to want, you know, to not be disrespected if things, you know, you know, if you go through things that didn't work out well. Yeah. You know, you that, have a bad practice. He, yeah. I think that's why Ziegler was talking about he was a, uh, he was some like a, uh, uh, what was that shit in school? He was uh he was working with a bunch of different kids and personalities. He yeah. was um what is that shit called? Yeah, come on, David. He's talking about uh, Zeigler, our GM. Yeah, he was he was uh, like I remember what he said though. I do remember what he said, but I just don't remember the title. That he... Therapist or no, no, no. It's like a not not a professor. I forgot what the hell it was. I, don't, I forgot what his title he said it was, but yeah. but he learned a lot from that situation. It's like I mean, look, if you're bringing in anybody, right? You're bringing in somebody that's a winner. I mean, uh, six time mm -hmm. ring, got rings. Oh, counselor, guidance counselor. counselor. Okay, guidance counselor. Um, uh, Zeigler has five of them. I mean, you you got you got a, you got guys that's coming in now that's gonna that's gonna run this thing that that nope. That's, Uche, that's how many lose. rings do you have? Huh? Uche, I got a Sun Bowl ring. I got a couple Sun Bowl rings. <laughs> I have zero. I have zero Super Bowl rings. So if yeah, I got no Super Bowl in, rings. If a guy's coming in with six, I'm gonna listen to him. Yeah, I mean that's the that's that's what most people would you know that's that's mostly the right advice to give somebody. But again, like it's six rings. How many how many coaches have come out of the Bill Belichick coaching tree and have done any good in, as a head coach? See now, Uch, we Only talked one. about that one night, right? But a lot of them went into some terrible situations. Like a lot of them went to the Cleveland mm, Browns. Come on, the, look, the, the, Brian the Flores was dead. in the worst situation. Who? Now that we know what we Flores. know, Brian Flores was basically oh, yeah, being yeah. told to tank the franchise, and he yeah. against you know. I mean, look the way that people tank the franchise, though. I mean, we would think that, but now we're starting to think to see a little different. Yep, that they're That's doing clear. it in a slick way. They're 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 look what they did to Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson got fucked out the league basically. Now that's what we figured out. They put incentives in his contract for losses. And what? now I, I put a little bit of blame on him as well because nigga, you know that they was paying you to tank. You knew that that when they interviewed him and he kept trying to dance around like yeah, I didn't understand. Shocked, I didn't bro. understand. That's why I was shocked. I was like, bro, you like, knew what the thing was. Yeah, yeah that's you crazy. knew what it was. Yeah. So, so you know, to what while we can't definitively prove it, there has been a little bit of a leak that yes, some of these teams in a slick way. Yep. Could be tanking on purpose. Well, when you which say has a number of implications. Way, hold on, Uche. When you say in a slick way, what do you mean, though? How do you convince? Uh, you put incentives into a place. coach's contract for losing. Yeah. Now look at this pattern. This is a pattern you got to understand about this situation but too. A coach look, can want with to Hugh Jackson. Lose. With Hugh Jackson, he talked about what they put in his contract. Mm -hmm. They put this shit in his contract. He said he didn't know what it meant, but he did. We know that. But then they quietly gave him a three-year extension without even fucking saying anything to the media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the first two years of doing nothing, they gave him a, or the first year of doing nothing, they gave him a three-year extension. That's then crazy. they fired him after the first year of that three-year extension. That's crazy. So, and that's part of the problem with, with, with what they're talking about with this whole minority head coach situation is that why you keep hiring the black head coaches to be the stop gaps for two years while you amass draft picks and tank your fucking squads and then fire them and hire a new guy when you've got everything in, in order to set up to, to, no, to make a run. Listen, no, I'm going to say this. No matter what, if a coach wants a team to tank, are players going to fucking tank? No, no. But, but again, but, so then how you put the players on, you, you put the, you, it's how you build that roster. You build a losing roster. Mm -hmm. And they could Build put them the in the wrong place. Bums. Bums. They could put them in the wrong place. Yeah, you know I mean, in, in pivotal times to make sure that sit guys that you that are that you don't want to be out there necessarily. Trade guys. I mean, come on, Minka Fitzpatrick he gets yeah. traded from Miami. That's crazy. What? I just I just want to make sure that it's known that it's not the players that are. It's not the players. No, oh, no, no, no. Players, no, no. the players would never go for that. And really, I don't believe the coaches would go for that because there's no way you can look your players in the eye. Okay. Right. Knowing what the fuck is going on, referees. That's, that's why there's kind so of happy. like so management. 
fucking the organization, yeah, can fucking dictate what happens. Bro. Yeah, it's Ooh. these owners, bro, because the owners don't know shit about football, dude. They no. don't know nothing about football. They just because, know it's entertaining. Okay, speaking of that, it comes, bro, like, does, like, like, like not bringing in Byron Le Le Leftwich because of Trent Bolt. Like, what, what the fuck is going on down there in Jacksonville? Bro, I was crazy. told by somebody <laughs> in the fucking building that this motherfucker was about to be hired. Yes. That they were all, oh, everybody <laughs> loved it. But 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 except for Balky. Once he said that Balky had to go, <laughs> yes. they was like, "Nah, well, let's uh, we'll get back to ya. We'll get back to you, okay?" Uh, like That's what crazy. the fuck? And 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 don't get me wrong. I, you know, I, I like who they brought in, but I think that Leftwood should have got the job. You know, what I'm saying like, I think he should have got the job. Now, yeah, Doug Peterson, did. he totally did. fine. No, no, Doug Peterson got it. Doug Peterson got it. Oh, okay. But but it was because Byron Leftwood had the job. But he said it's either me or Trent Bolt. I'm not. I'm not. He gonna, said gonna I want to bring in Adrian Wilson. Adrian go. Wilson is the head of head of scouting in uh in Arizona. He's an executive in Arizona. In Arizona, he want to bring him in to be the GM. The you would have the you would have the first minority head coach in Jacksonville. The first uh the, yeah the first minority head coach. Well, not GM because we had Shaq Harris when I was a rookie, but. That would have been big for that would have been big for Jacksonville just as a as a mor a morality boost. Yeah. Because I play, I mean, hell, Byron was my teammate my rookie year for the first, you know, through the preseason. Beast, right? <laughs> uh I mean, good dude. Understood the game very well. I mean, he just didn't have the fucking movement. The motherfucker was a statue in the pocket, real talk. Yeah. Um, but he's a good dude. And he's understand, and I mean, okay, he's never been a head coach, but He's been under the tutelage of Bruce Arians, one of the most revered coaches in the league. Ever. And Tom Brady, to an extent. He's been under tutelage of him as well. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady brought his offense to Ooh, Tampa, Jay, integrated it with Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians. Give me your thoughts on what on the way he handles players and what he's been doing the last this past year. I think I think he's like a he's he's a I think he's a relic of Tom Coughlin's era. But I think he's adjusted, much like Tom Coughlin, when he was a head coach in New York, to is actually it about like. Him or is it about the team? It's about the team, but it's about the team on is his it? terms. Well, on his oh, terms. Wow. You're, you're, That's you're, why AB is gone. That's why they didn't even put up with nothing from him. Yeah. They said AB was gone after he got caught with the fake vaccination shit. They said was, that they already had. They well, were done well. with him. He never, he, what, what Bruce, Bruce Arian never wanted him there anyway. Bruce Arian hated him before he even came in. He, he didn't yeah, know like yeah, Tom, he, yeah. he, that was Tom, Tom, the strength of that yeah. was on GP from Tom. Yeah, straight up. Because I mean, shit, the motherfucker just got to a Super Bowl. What, he can have him one. saying that there was no com communication about his ankle and I didn't know anything but about the motherfucker ain't hurt, man. He ain't hurt. You see that? Did you see the route he ran? Yeah, that motherfucker yeah, the was game? Mean. Yeah, that was mean. He, he, I mean, I thought the DB was hurt. I'm like, oh, the DB yeah, broke his ankle. What about That's the next week when he's fucking trying to grab his fucking player and, and fucking hitting the motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, hey, Bruce Arian was wild. I don't know what the hell that was, bro. You remember he uh, stopped? I mean, he yeah, that's player? not something that you do. You don't do that, but also, I, mean, coach, also, I, don't, I don't need that shit. You don't need to fucking, you don't need yeah, to fucking. Yeah, no, no, nobody need that. Yeah, you're right. But also, he, again, he is a coach of that old Bill Parcells era where them niggas did put their hands on players. Not in disrespectful manner, but they would, like, snatch a motherfucker face mask if they were fucking up and tell them what they need to do. Yeah. Did now, Bruce Arians win a Super Bowl or did Tom Brady win a Super Bowl? Mm, I think they. I think it's collective effort because I mean, hell, Leftwich called the plays. So did Tom. Tom Brady brought. You know what Tom brought to their offense? He brought their. He brought. Not not not, not fucking Aries. Hold on, hold on. Tom hold on, brought hold on. a whole put roster with him. Put Tom Bowles in there too, man. Put Tom Bowles in there as well. He was a great defensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was just, that was just that was a look. You could have won the Super Bowl with that Tampa Bay team with a couple of quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah, definitely. that team was so fucking loaded. It was so yeah. ready to win a Super Bowl to to, to compete for so one. Down, you guys are downplaying Tom Brady. I'm no, not downplaying Tom no. Brady. Tom He's Brady is a guarantee. If you He's have that dope. kind of team, you're gonna have the best chance. Bro, I'm Tom Brady you brought so many pieces over, bro. Well, he yeah. brought Gronk. That was he brought Gronk, and he brought his off his style of offense, which part of his offense was. He brought, he brought confidence. AB. I mean, I feel like they win that without AB. 
Oh yeah, definitely. I'm just I just I, know that he I you know, believe that. I believe that. But I don't think I, everybody would have re-signed that same that same offseason without Brady. Yeah. Once they knew Brady was on the squad, oh, everybody was coming back. Shaq yeah. Barrett, Shaq Barrett came back. All those guys on the defense side outside of the ball. No, I think if, if you had like a yeah. I think Aaron Rodgers. Could have, you know, that would have been a cat who had that kind of pull if he would have came to Tampa, yeah. you know, with all the drama he was going through with uh, Green Bay. But Doc, now I think Aaron Rodgers, I Excellent. think right now Aaron Rodgers actually loses some of his steam now because <laughs> he played like he he's the why they lost in the, in the in the divisional. He's why they lost. Not anybody that else. Jared kind of screwed himself because he took a lot less money than what he should have got just I to mean, stay on the team with Brady. I mean, he, hey, got a so ring. he went from 19 million to fucking 11. Okay, I take yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, how, how much money does the motherfucker need? You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, one, a year at least. Shit. Yeah. Um, I, do. Hey, I mean, for- Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford could have done that same thing with that team. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, I, 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 I say Russell Wilson could have done the same thing with that team. I disagree. Yeah. I disagree. Put Derek Carr over there. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get the conversation. Let's get that. Let's get that. Check maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. If you're saying Stafford, you got to say Carr can. Yeah, I mean, Stafford they're, they're better Carr. than Carr. I think they're no, kind of I don't. I don't think so. Look, yeah. bro. You see how many throws he missed last night? He missed Open touchdowns. Night. I mean, Brady missed a couple throws himself in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If Stafford can do it, DC can do it with that same exact roster. I'm not saying you feel me like he threw two picks too, right? Oop, my bro. Yeah. Stafford, Stafford won the Super Bowl though. Yeah. I mean, he won one. I'm not Stafford. Gonna Stafford, look, Stafford is proven in this one season that it wasn't him in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> what me? <laughs> hey, you know, yeah, that, that would be a great years. Put, put, yeah. I put up with Jay Stala. And what's funny is, bro, 13 was, years. This motherfucker was toiling away in the graveyard of the NFL, mm-hmm. just sitting there, the underkeeper. Just that must be digging a good graves ass feeling, for bro. fucking Barry Sanders, digging graves for Megatron, yeah. all these motherfuckers. All of them just. And everybody's like, man, this guy's. uh. <laughs> When's he gonna give it up? He's, he's, I mean, he's good, but he's never. He's. I mean, he can't go anywhere. He's stuck. Mm-hmm. He's hey, stuck. Uche, he committed. Hey, hey, Uche. Let me ask you. Did, did Del Rio? I don't want to. I don't want to revert because I love this conversation. Did he say anything about his time as as the Oakland Raiders coach? Because I know he's from Hayward. I know he grew up a Raider fan. So I know he was. Yeah. I know he was really, really disappointed when he moved on from him and and brought Chucky in the fold. He had to have been pissed. I mean, did he no, say he said, uh, he, he said the Raiders great organization, you know, he said okay. great organization, you know, uh, tr- you know, a, uh, what is a prestigious organization, but you know, he, we were really just talking about the fair, you know, the whole, the whole, the way that the, the Raiders, you know, circled the wagons in 2021, because, yeah. you know, that's not something that we really expect of the, you know, I said, other than when he was there for two years, he was there taking them to the playoffs, kind of yeah. helping start that molding of Derek Carr. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you know, whenever one thing goes bad in Oakland, we just witnessed the whole thing fall apart immediately mm-hmm. after. Yeah. And, you know, when, when Gruden got sent packing, which <laughs> that was, that was just weird. Yeah. That was weird that he got sent packing the way he did. But I was just shocked about that he, the, like he moved on. Goodell, from Bill is, Goodell is, a, is Goodell's a bitch like that though. Goodell will be mm-hmm. the motherfucker who's mad just because you talk shit about him. Yeah. He, he's, he's gonna put out the there this other email he's that's, that's that was he's why. gonna put out the racist shit and the homophobic shit, and he's gonna then he's gonna kick you the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> and that's and he know and hey John Gruden knows I'm pulling up my belt. That's why he want. That's why you're gone because you said something about him. Yeah, not yeah. because of any of this shit you say. He don't give a fuck about none of the other oh, shit you yeah, said. Nah. You yeah, call nah. him, call him a, a pussy. pussy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to see who's a pussy? <laughs> right. Who don't got a job? <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here. Hey, I, I'm going to be honest, though, bro. I think it was a collective effort. I don't care what nobody say. 
I think Mark Davis was like, hey, man, this shit ain't working out. How can I get this guy the fuck out of here without having to pay him $100 million? And, and I, <laughs> I think Goodell was like, I don't think so. I don't. Th- I don't think so. Man. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think so either. I don't. I don't think. Uh, wasn't Davis it? Wasn't it like the day like before that. they were in a suite together or something like that at one of our games? Mark Davis and Goodell they were together like uh, the week before he got fired. Bro, yeah, that was like the mob. That's that's like the mob motherfucking yeah. meeting. Goodell, Bro, Goodell sat Goodell down. Was he was there at the Chicago game that I was at. That was Gruden's last game. He yeah. was there. Fire him. Uh, what is, what is, what is, <laughs> give you an option you can't refuse or uh, uh, something. You Fire can't him or, sell, or, or or we sell the rest of the team to Jerry <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Facts. You choose. Facts. <laughs> hey, hey, I gotta ask John. Uche. Hey, I gotta ask Uche this because everybody we fuck with Stu on this right all the time. Hey, how do you feel about Greg Olson, brother? <laughs> Greg Olson, yeah. you talking about uh, 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 the coordinator? Yeah, the coordinator. You, you know anything about this? About, were you yeah, around, he, you yeah I had him in Jacksonville. He was he, 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 coached, uh, he was our quarterback coach in Jacksonville. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've always liked uh, Ole. I've always liked him. Good guy. He's he's, he, uh, he's in the league. He's the motherfucker has been in the league a minute. He he's got clout. He's got fucking. Oh shit! Here we go. He's got book. respect in the league. I mean, that's real. This book right here, he's better pull up a whole lot of John Gruden stats. Uh, here we go <laughs> Greg Olson has two fucking pages. Okay, but, but Greg, Bro, that motherfucker's two. been. He's been doing. He's been setting pages. quarterbacks up around the league. Now he hadn't had. To, he hadn't knocked it out the park with all of them because shit, he didn't do shit for Blaine Gabbert. But. Uh, <laughs> Was but he, he, you know he, he's known he's known to be one of those guys you bring in if you want to try and you know help your quarterback. He's one of the guys. There's there's probably like five or six of them that are at the top. Where you say you bring these guys in if you want to get your quarterback right. Do uh, so you think that Gruden held him back then? Of course, Gruden's a fucking asshole, dude. Of course, Gruden is a fucking egotistical. My shit don't stink. He's been living off of Tony Dungy's fucking Buccaneers team since they won the Super Bowl. Ass motherfucker. Talk that shit. He lives off his name. He yes. literally has what survived this entire NFL experience off of his name as a commentator. He got the commentator gig because of the Super Bowl. And then Bro. people started giving him so much respect as a commentator, they start giving him that quarterback school shit. I'm thinking mm-hmm. to myself, bro, you make football so complicated that good quarterbacks have failed just because you're their coach. Yeah. I mean, you make it. it way too complicated. This guy was supposed to be the right, the 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 quarterback whisperer. And what what QBs did he really build up? I mean, I know DC got better under Gruden. Um, you know, uh, years, statistically, you know, he got better. I just want to make you sure talking about Gruden is supposed to. You talking about Gruden as the quarterback when, groomer? When Gruden was there, no, Gruden is no quarterback we, groomer. No, no, no. When when Gruden was there, we didn't make the playoffs, right? And no. when Gruden left, we made the playoffs. Yes, but when yeah, Gruden Gruden's left. Not, left who was calling oh. the offense? Greg Olson. And whose offense was still ass? <laughs> Our offense we still sucked. made the playoffs. And almost Rich Basaccia made the playoffs. Hey. That's why Rich Basaccia. Rich Basaccia did. That's why Rich Basaccia nah, should have had a chance at head that was a collective co- That was a collective not. coaching effort for them, to, for them to pull that team together like that. All them coaches so, had to bring So let me ask game. you this, Stu. Special teams continue to make plays. Defense got better. Offense stayed trash. Who was calling the plays on offense? Offense had injuries too, though. Offense had some injuries at key positions. Offense stayed trash. When not, we not once we got to the playoffs. We got everybody back. The last two weeks, we uh, had everybody uh, back. What's his name? Uh, didn't uh, didn't what's his name? The tight end didn't he get hurt? Waller in the was back game? the last two weeks. Waller was back the last two weeks. Waller's and a Waller beast. Was Waller was trash. He hold on, bro. Our special teams uh, continue to make plays. Waller couldn't even fucking pick his knees up because he fucking hadn't been playing. But look, mm-hmm. our offense stayed bad. Our defense got better. Our special teams made plays. Our defense did not get better. Did you not look at the last five weeks? Look at the our last five weeks and where our, our defense played. Look at the last five weeks and look at how well our defense played. Again, our offense did not get better when Drake Olsen started playing. How many make with – with uh Gruden. Huh? How many playoffs did we make when Gruden came back? Zero. How many did we make when Greg Olson was the offensive coordinator? The... Dude, did you not just hear what I was saying? 
Our defense I mean, answer, got answer better. The man, no. <laughs> Our defense got better. Our special teams <laughs> got better. <laughs> well, defenses tend to get better towards the end of the season. If they, if they struggle our early, they, they tend to get better. Our the offense, offense, the offense. I mean, shit, dude. The offense got got y'all into the playoffs. Still, y'all no, had to win them. Y'all had to win out. Our, our defense. defense. What? Are, are you saying? Are you saying that our defense for three and a half quarters, holding teams to seventeen points or less, holding our offense in the game? Well, after that's what you're supposed to do. Three and what out, is the offense and supposed? And to, the, you know, you know what the average. You know what a good offense averages is a scoring like twenty one points. That's it. Our offense if couldn't do that. Points, you should win, right? Twenty-one points, you should win the game. Yeah. If you and our offense 21. couldn't do it. Yes, they did. Well, y'all won. Y'all got into the playoffs because of how <laughs> well well damn near beat y'all damn near downstretch. beat the team that ended up going to the Super Bowl. Argument our could defense. be made that one of their touchdowns shouldn't have counted. Yep. Hey, that's a different. That's a different story, man. That's fucked. Because that shit fucked. was a that was a fucking whistle. That play didn't count. Yeah, and the dude, NFL that was knows tough. that play shouldn't have counted. That was because if tough. you watch the moment, even though he threw the ball, Joe Joe Burrow, which was hell, I thought he was out of bounds. That motherfucker was in bounds somehow. In bounds, bro. When he threw it, it was in the air mid flight, and you hear a distinct referee yeah. whistle, and the entire field, every play stopped playing. Even yeah, the receiver yeah. who caught the ball just caught it like, yeah, he just caught it like, all right. <laughs> Hey, he was like, I caught it because it was coming towards me, but no, I think no, the play safety, goal. Mer Merrick stopped moving. Merrick yeah. was just, he just yeah. stopped. Everybody, the entire, yeah. everybody who was playing stopped when they heard the everybody whistle. Everybody pulled off. That's like, that's a conditioning. That's a conditioned thing. Mm -hmm. Once you, hear, you the hear the whistle, whistle you, you, you motor down. Yeah, yeah you yeah. just motor down. The receiver who caught the ball motored down. The DBs around them motored down. The receivers who were running their routes all stopped. Yeah. Like, everybody kind of just stood around. No, the, the refs didn't even signal touchdown. They were kind of like. Yeah. It's confused as hell. The fuck? Yeah, Mass Crosby even even like st uh, low key starts celebrating because he thought that he ran out of bounds. Yeah, you know, ran out of bounds. So yeah, yeah. That, that's that's crazy, man. That was so, tough. So so you think you think right now we should in your in your personal opinion you think that we should have kept uh, Richie B or do you think that we you you we're, we're we're moving up with this front office and these these new coaches? Man, I I think you I I honestly as a player I would have wanted to keep him. Because mm. I think that's you, what it the, seemed the like. Mother, the motherfucker you go to war with is the motherfucker you want to go to, and he leads you, and you actually find success. That's the motherfucker you want to stay around. Because the next guy who comes in, bro, look, this dude, McDa Josh McDaniel, is going to come in there and he's going to start purging part of that team, mm -hmm. which yeah. is going to set the team back. That's going to set the franchise back. He's going to start. Does he know how to build culture? Does he know how to get the right coaches around him? Does he know how to bring in, you know, how, how to interact with the players on their and how to set up the schedules the right way? How to like set up training camp? The hey, staff Uche. we got is nice though. The staff, yeah, but that's the thing. Would Richie be have? Would he have put us in the same position we are now? Like, would he have been able to pull the strings to get Graham? Would he have been able to pull the strings know. to get Daniels? He ain't got no pull. Yeah, no, he doesn't have no pull. We won four, 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 four games next year. We won four games. Tell you right now. Uh, he's, been, uh, he's been a consistent special teams coach yeah. for a reason. And that's what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, but they gave him that. He got, but he got a shot at the head coaching job early in the season. This wasn't like yeah, a mid-season Yeah, week five, five, six, something like that. No, this was like week three, week four. This was in the no, first was, month of the season. It was week we week played six. It was played. We played Chicago week four. He came in week five, I think. Yeah, Something it was like, like right after, right the first month. Because then, right after he got the coaching spot, the next week, fucking the rug shit happened. Yeah, yeah. back. And back. then the next week, the Damon, whatever his name, that Damon shit happened. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, motherfucker. When when he came in, we went two and zero the next two weeks, beating Denver and Philly, right? And then we went on that five five games out of six that we lost, yeah. and then something clicked, and then they went five in a row or something like that. Yeah, yeah he he five, came in five games that y'all lost. That was the re the re the reconfiguring of culture. That was trying mm. to like find out how to motivate these motherfuckers to play because they've seen they're seeing a lot of negative shit. And I don't know if they really, you know, you got, you don't know if they hearts is ready, really to try and, if they hearts are ready for this shit. Yeah, DC was playing bad ball those six weeks, bro. Yeah, he was.
DC was playing some bad ball, bro. He was. But so, he, he you know, that's where you lose. Person. That's where you lose some of that leadership from having a John Gruden, who, if for as big as a dick as he is, He's he'll leader, know man. how to navigate the season. Yeah. And you know, as a new coach who's just a special teams guy. He's not going to know how to navigate the season, but once he starts figuring out the rhythm and then he start getting finding what what gets the players going, boom, they start winning. They start winning. They start winning. Quarterback starts making better playing better games. Shit. Shit, bro. DC was just so fucking out of it after rugs, bro. It was just it was hard to watch. Cuz that that cuz that that was his playmaker. That was his play. That was his yeah. He's fucking stupid. It, like what Rugs Rugs won us Pittsburgh. He Back. won us. Bro, how could this who how could this nigga that that's, after, that, after, that was my after, fear after, of Vegas. That was my fear of them going no, to be in the Vegas. Though, we started winning, man. So it's it, it's all that was bro, that was last season. That was a year before this happened. I'm responsible for all this shit, man. <laughs> I stupid. turned the entire fucking organization around, bro. Yeah, Dude, that, these motherfuckers, like, the problem with being in Vegas is that these motherfuckers are grown men, and they can they and they can find something to be into the entire day and night. Yeah, yeah. all the free time on your hands, and none of it probably. Bro, can good. you imagine? I couldn't even imagine, bro. If I would have been on the Raiders bro, and, and in you Vegas. Know, you know that's a gambling happened. problem. <laughs> That motherfucker, that happened. Like, this nigga Uche fucking put a million up on fucking on himself this week. <laughs> <laughs> so the million, I don't give up a fucking pressure. And 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 the reason why Rudds was still out that night was because oh, Richie B had gave him like an extra week. Uh, no, no, uh, they gave him a extra day. So that that Monday, they're, they're supposed to go back. They to got practice. that victory Monday. They had that yeah. victory Monday. But it was our bye week, so they had the whole week, and he oh, let okay. them get the Monday whole... off. Mm -hmm. Man, look, that's Same you know what, what? but that's the it number was, one yeah. thing coaches say before you leave for that fucking buy. Don't go nowhere. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Chill at your crib. Don't embarrass. Do not us. take no trips. Because yeah. the yeah. last thing we want to fucking hear when we about to make this yeah. run yeah. is that one of you motherfuckers got arrested. Yep. That Stu is running around fucking naked on the strip, and Uche's an anchor down getting fucked up. <laughs> Uche said it's club. It's club. I'm gonna call Uche and go, hey Uche, you need to pick me up, bro. Let's go. Bro, Graf, I remember when you sent that shit to the group chat, bro, about rugs. I was like, there's no fucking way, bro. Yeah. Bro, was... did you see the fucking video footage of this that shit? That shit was just so sad, bro. I can watch that, bro. Sad. I can done. Watch that there's shit, bro. nothing that anybody can do for you. Yeah, You're done in the football. You're you done know what's with so crazy, bro? We 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 raised over like a hundred thousand dollars for that funeral, bro. For her, man, like 100, 120,000. I think it went more than that, actually. That's crazy. Like, what, yeah, y'all like, did that on, on y'all did that live, live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's on the fucking show. amazing. Hell and yeah. and I think Mark Davis yeah. attended that as well, right? Her, yeah. her, her yeah. open, her yeah. open, yeah. like little memorial thing. Yeah, he, yeah. Went, he went, he went, and I know, I know that he probably publicly or, or behind the scenes. Uh, probably put Paid a couple of dollars in their pockets too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably put. I mean, uh, he put the rest of that nigga rug yeah. contract in their pocket. Probably. Oh, we, we're getting that money back this year. Let's call some. And we want our and we want and we want our signing bonus back. Because <laughs> now we got to give it to them. We got to give it to the family of yep. the fucking woman you killed. Yep, bro. That was so. Bro, that shit was so fucked up, watch, bro. bro. That shit. Was I was terrible. like, bro, you how could you? Happens, you know, man, dude. Bro, when he sent that it picture, I was like, bro, that's not, did, yeah, Corvette, bro, that's not his Corvette, bro. That's not his Corvette, bro. And we kept trying to tell ourselves that. Yes, wasn't bro. Car. And then, and then the sun came out. We were like, "Fuck, that's this motherfucker's whip, bro." Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, "God listen, damn!" Listen, I, I, I researched it. Twenty-four people get killed every day by drunk drivers. Every day, twenty-four <laughs> of them. Every day. So I mean, it's unfortunately, it's just. And he he's a, and he's out. now part of that statistic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's one thing that I always feared, not necessarily you know with the, with you know DUI or anything like that, but just being in a situation where I where somebody ends where I where kill somebody I personally yeah. do something that that, yeah. that 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 hurts somebody else. Yeah, bro. What they you know say what I mean? like one twenty in a residential dog, like bro. He uh, was he hit the what? chick doing one fifty six like that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> In a residential, bro. like fuck, bro. 
He was. She was two Bro, and, blocks from hey, her house. You know he was one block. I know that street. I've been on that street every time I go to Vegas. That's the street I take to go back to to the airport. Yeah. Yeah. To get to and, get, to and, get to and then they showed they showed like the the map. They said that she was two two blocks from her home. He was like one block from his. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Like that? Like, that's doing one fifty on? The, I can I can't even imagine that he was doing that kind of speed on that road. Yeah, that like, road has always got cars on it. Yeah, <laughs> like hey. a lot of them. Like you you were waiting. Like you're kind of moving, but you're not. Hey, okay, I'm like, how, did you get to how did you get to one fifty? Once how did you get to one fifty in that? That shit crazy, bro. Let me ask. Just, let me ask you, you know, know with your girl in the car too, bro. Like, yeah, bro. yeah just bro, you got a daughter, a bro. Yeah. Oh. A Real Corvette. Quick, you if you know anything quick, about supercars, nigga, a Corvette is not the car you want to be doing 150 on in and have to make any maneuvers. Hey, you know what's so crazy? So hey, real quick. Hey, Stu, shout out to Gerardo because he said you can't blame. So, yes. So, he's from a small city as well, Henry Ruggs, right? There was a video that was uploaded from him driving on the freeway yep. in Alabama. He was driving fucking insane, bro. Yep. So this wasn't the first time. It was his thing. girlfriend that added him about it too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. She uh... sent it to him. So shout out to Gerardo. That's facts, brother. Um, hey, let me ask you real quick, because while we got you on, you're a former yeah. border maker as well. There's two players I want to ask you about. Oh, you're up, motherfucker. Let's go. There's two mm -hmm. players I want to ask you about. I already asked Stu about them, but I want to get your <clears> take <throat> on them. Um, David Bell, wide receiver, right? Playmaker. Playmaker. Beast. Beast. He's what, a what? playmaker. I don't know. I mean, that's just something that Bo Purdue's been getting those cats re recently at receiver, just playmakers. And he, he's an indie cat, too. He's an indie yeah. boy. What, what round? What round? Do you, second rounder? He'll be a second rounder. If he if he can, if he's, is, was this his last year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he yeah he'll, be, he'll be a second rounder. Huh? I think the Colts may get him. I think he'll be a second. I mean, look, the Jags. They gotta replace T.Y. Hilton. Yeah, I think they're gonna the get him. Jags need a receiving core. I've never like seen a any, receiving I've core. All of them. I've never seen anybody with better. All of hair. them. Maybe yeah, yeah, Jerry oh. Rice than fucking David Bell. Honestly, Real quick, be, before I go to the next player, I want to ask Uch because you just said you guys need a receiving core. A lot of us in the nation are talking about taking a flyer on DJ Chart. What do you think about DJ Chart? Baller. I mean, it's look, man, this is the Jaguars do this way too often. They get they get young, young star receivers who are going to be elite and they let them go before they become elite and they go somewhere else and be elite. Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson is an elite level receiver oh if he's on a team that's feeding them the rock. Yep. With a serviceable because serviceable when he had Mitch Trubisky, Mitch Trubisky was feeding him the rock. That, he was balling. Yeah, I mean, but he had, he had the Blake Bortles of the world, the Mitchell Trubisky. I mean, even at Penn State, he had a terrible uh, a terrible quarter. He never really had yeah. a good quarterback his whole career. But and but, yeah, but this guy is a fucking baller, and really, he's gonna be. He, I mean, he could end up back in Jacksonville. He I could end, end up, up in Vegas. In yeah, because yeah, look, I, the Jags got seventy good. million. And they got the number one overall. And if I'm the Jaguars, I'm trading that number one overall. I say, hey, Lions, y'all got a bunch of picks from the from the Rams. Hey, let us get two of them first and a third or two or a first, a first this year, your second this year, and a first next year. We give you number one overall. But you need a line. You need you need somebody to be able to protect Trevor uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence, bro. You're gonna get O line. You're gonna draft O line first, but you don't got to draft O line. No, you don't got to draft O line number one overall. Hell no. Okay, what about what don't about Matt? Who? Matt Jones. You talking about the wide receiver? Yeah. From former back in the day? Former quarterback from Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, Matt Jones was a cool motherfucker. He was good. He was he was more of a possession dude. You know, they, Jags didn't really know what to do with him because, uh, I mean, Jones. bro, you ain't going to play quarterback. Remember him? Yep. Hell yeah, dude. You're not going to play quarterback. You're pretty good at wide receiver. But, you know, like – uh he you don't study his, uh, the playbook at all. You just run. You just run somewhere, and we throw you the ball. Like, hey, hey, I asked you about this guy, Stu. Oh, do you know who Xander uh, Horvath is? The running uh, back. No, no, Xander no. Horvath. Horvath. Xander Horvath, number Horvath. forty for the fucking Purdue. Running back, uh, six three two thirty. Remember, Brandon, didn't I say let's, uh, take, let's take him in a mock draft? Remember, Stu, and you're like, hell no, nah, keep keep uh, away. 
I know he was injured. I know he I knew he broke his ankle or broke his leg or some shit. Who's this? Who's this? Xander Horfith. Uh Horfath. Whatever. How oh, Xander Horvath. Horvath. He's number 40 at Purdue right now. He was a mm. a walk-on linebacker converted to running back. And yeah. then after five or six years, developed some speed. And they they yeah. they, they he's dude. I saw him in the locker room. As big as me, fucking yoke, look like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Just not. He's a white. He's a white running back. That's fucking hard to do, man. And like, <laughs> uh, not if he's good. If he's good, they would. I mean, look. Let me tell you. How something. many white running backs have you know? Fucking hey, man. White folks love white when there's a good white running know? back. Hey, Christian white McCaffrey folks love a good, a good white running back. That's CMC went before you know before he turned into a fucking injury fucking fest. This cat was one of the, I mean, hell, you damn near was about to get it. They damn near was about to give him the damn MVP award. Yep. Like, yeah, he's the best player in the NFL, bar none. Yep. And I he mean, was basically I, I, just I, like Maurice Jones Drew. Yeah, but I know right. Allstott's not technically a running back. I mean, he's a fullback, but Allstott was a monster. Uh, Mike Allstott was a monster, too. Yeah, what? Allstott CMC brought. had what? 1,500 rushing, 1,000 receiving? That shit's yeah. insane, bro. Crazy, bro. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the problem. Fuck that shit, it's nigga. I'll take prepared. Mojo over him any day of the week. <laughs> Mojo ain't get hurt like him. One, Mojo won a rushing title, and he had like eight or nine hundred yards receiving. Well, you know, you know, we're we're indifferent with you on that, Uz, because because uh, you know, Mojo came to the Rams. Yeah, I'm biased. Shit, you know, yeah, I'm biased. Hey, but, no, but, but we we love him. He, he he's from the Bay. He's from Northern Cali. We love him. But yeah, y'all y'all got him after the Liz Frank like that. Yeah, you know, it yeah, was yeah. it was he he knew he only had a year or two left. Yeah, we, we got him at the end. I mean, I was there with him in, in prime prime mojo, the motherfucker who just walked through linebackers' chests. You had Fred Taylor like at the same nothing. time, too, right? You had Fred Taylor and Yeah, I had right? Fred Taylor too. Him and Fred Taylor together was unbelievable. That's, oh that my God. Fun. That's fucking see. Cool. I remember I remember Greg Jones. G Jones too. Shit. G Jones. I mean, bro, we had a stable of running backs who you could just hand any That's one of them the ball and just be three, like, what? watch this three. shit. Dude, Greg Jones was what six three two thirty five? Nah, probably. he like six foot, six foot six one. You're crazy. But he's like two fifteen, two twenty, but completely shredded. <laughs> he's a muck boy for real, <laughs> muck boy. He was I at mean, least dude six, doesn't have it. At least six two, dog. Uh, maybe six two on in his cleats. He's six two, maybe. That shit is hilarious. Hey, but he was hey, just his. Uh, he was he was a beast. He was all of them were beasts, dude. Like I I was just like man, after my rookie year I was like man we're gonna be in the playoffs every year. This is gonna be easy, Jesus. Yeah, if, if you just running, running over you, everybody, yeah, just keep running it, run it, yeah. run it, run it, run it, run it. That's crazy. And Fred Fred everybody. wanted to get it. Fred wanted to get a couple a couple year extension, but you know they're ready to just hand it over to Mojo. But, but I mean they I think that. Hey, have you been on they his show? I think we should have got one more year with him. Hey, have you been on, have you been on his show? No, nah, I ain't been on his show. You know what show oh, I'm talking about? He got a serious. He got a show on Sirius. With him and uh, but that's well, fantasy football though. Oh, no, you talking I about Freddie T? Yeah, I am athlete. I think that's that's Brandon Marshall's. That's Brandon Marshall's. Yeah, yeah. Fred, Fred Taylor's yeah. on there. But though. but they're like co-hosts. They're co-hosts on it. But I think they split sure. up, didn't they? I th- I don't know. I haven't, I haven't watched any this year. I haven't watched any. I thought any they split up. Season. Did you ever talk to? I just G- remember that G- one G- episode G- where Brandon Marshall lost his goddamn mind. That <laughs> shit was funny as hell. Did he really? <laughs> he was ready yeah. to fight these cats over some bullshit. <laughs> Who was this? What it happened? Was like a year, or like two years ago. They oh, were talking about, I, I forget what they were talking it's about. Called, it's called the pivot. It's called the pivot. Fred Taylor's show. Yeah, yeah, the pivot. The pivot. Dude, because Brandon, Brandon Marshall, I hit up Fred a couple oh, times, man. I hit him up a few times trying to get him to come on my show. The motherfucker don't respond to shit on, on Instagram, and I ain't calling him. I got his number. I ain't calling him. <laughs> motherfucker. I hit up Mojo on Instagram. He hit me back in like two minutes. Hey, Mojo yeah, just let me know thing. what time. Mojo doing his thing right now, too. Yeah, he really is. Good. Um, yeah, that shit, bro. I'm still, I'm still like tripping out about that whole Atlanta shit, bro. That shit's hilarious to me. Um, yeah, <laughs> that shit is crazy. Uh, I did not watch it yet. I just seen a piece of Matt of 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 John Madden's uh, memorial. I haven't memorial? Had to watch it, but I'm gonna watch the rest of it tonight. So, uh, yeah, I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. 
Yeah, so basically, Madden is a fuck was a fucking living legend, dude. Legend, bro. And that and shit was so fucking great. Virginia Madden like, came just out. Just listening to him, he was my youth. Game. That that was the voice of football to me. Shit, hell yeah, bro. Period. Video game. Uh, uh, in the in the in the booth everywhere. The Shit. Madden games when him when him and Pat Summerall were fucking. Oh, bro, when him and Pat Summerall were doing the Madden games, it was the best ever. Look at this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Looking like a fucking trucker. Yep. Ooh, Virginia Madden call him. What happened? To, what happened there? He, she said. She said something like, "We'll always be the Raiders" or some shit, and then she was like, "The Oakland Raiders." You know what I'm saying? So she, because that's it, real it, talk. I, yeah. it's, it's hard for me to say Las Vegas Raiders. I always yeah. be like, yeah. uh, the Oakland. I mean, Las Vegas Raiders. Oakland. Yeah. Is, it just sounds. Uh, that's just what it sounds. It sounds right. Shirtless. It don't shirtless sound right saying activated. Las Vegas. <laughs> shirtless stew activated. Look at it. <laughs> uh, nah, but yeah, she pretty much said Oakland. She was like, hey, Oakland. I'm a big ass safety dog. Right. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing safety about you no more, King. <laughs> no. Nah, bro. Jeff, <laughs> you know, hey, Jeff, ask, ask Uche, man. We had some big ass safeties at Purdue, didn't we? And D. Yeah, we did. We are. We had. We had. We had big safeties. We had Stu. Ralph then we had uh we had we had Ralph, oh, no. then Bernard, after Bernard Pollard. Bernard after after that, and then we had uh uh what's what was his name? Uh Cal was from, uh, from Houston. He was he was nice, and then he blew his knee out, and then it was just he wasn't the same. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I think Kevin, Kevin Williams or, or uh he was the biggest light skin, player. light skin with the goatee, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. He was pretty tall, ass. like six foot pretty, three. Pretty ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, buddy, but he played, he played physical. Like I remember spring ball. He he played one spring ball year and he I was like, man, hey, this is, that's gonna this be the next, great... that's the next Purdue safety right there. Yeah. That's the next hey, one. Hey, this is a great question. I, I gotta ask, I gotta ask Uch real quick. But real quick, Gerardo says Stula like Chris Farley is a Chippendale dancer. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh real quick, he said, How Where's it at? This is a. How really would you approach AD? Well, no, ask, ask Uche some questions, man. This motherfucker, dude. That's what it is. Shit. To ask Uche, how would you approach AD in a one-on-one -on -one pass block? Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. AD. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. I motherfucking stick that motherfucker in his chest, neck area immediately. <laughs> And the thing is, and this is the thing that, like, look, man, I look, I respect everything about his game because I've seen his game in different iterations of defensive linemen when I from when I played. Motherfucker, man. These motherfuckers that he goes against are garbage. <laughs> they don't even try to block him. Like you don't, if you you're not gonna block him if you don't even attempt to use your technique to block him. Like it's former when they, when they you, bench. Do you think he's gonna really retire? Because he said yesterday, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's a D lineman, motherfucker. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, take your ass on, nigga. You know, I played somebody who was better than you. Oh, His name was Albert Hainsworth. Ooh, and for man. one year, he was the baddest defensive player in the NFL for one contract year. And he got a hundred million off of that. And, First and D lineman to ever get that. And didn't give a fuck no more. And he didn't give a fuck after that. But look, yeah, Albert Hainsworth didn't give a fuck after not, that. Not, not look, really I've ever. seen the game film on AD, and AD is good because he's very quick and he's explosive, and he and he he has he's a he has he he has a great first move, and he and if he does, if you can get the first move blocked, he has an immediate transition into a second move. But it's not un uncanny how he does it. It's just yeah. that motherfuckers are so shocked by his speed. That they don't know, they don't know how to stop speed. They don't Would know how to stop a defensive tackle who can rush you like a defensive end. That's what the problem is a lot of times with these guards in the league. That I've been, and when I watched it in the Super Bowl, I was like, "Yo, this this left guard on fourth and one, you fucking don't even touch Aaron Donald. Yeah. You don't even <laughs> touch him. You miss completely. What do you? Do? That means you're not being coached how to play O line right." Because I oh, had well, well, one of the best line coaches. Worse. Hey, yeah, they're terrible. Football. Yeah, they're terrible. They're terrible. But look, I've seen it. Look, when they played against Jacksonville and he ran through fucking uh, what's that fucking bum's name? That fucking I can't believe they gave him thirty-five million dollars. Yeah, yeah, fucking Cam Robinson? The left 
No, the left the left guard from uh oh, Jacksonville. Um, Norwell. Oh, Norwell. Oh, he, Andrew he, Norwell. He, he, he's a free agent right now, too. Andrew, Andrew Norwell. Bruh, that dude is he oh my god, he got James Robinson benched. Cause he he literally was zone blocking. He opened his hips and he opened his hips completely on a zone block. And Aaron you know, Donald just ran by him. I'm like, wow. Uche, Uche knows his shit, dude. When he body slams the running back, and then the running back fumbles, and you think and you bench the running back? How about your lineman who didn't even touch him on a zone? Bruh, I say, was coached AD? by one of the best. I would say, I would argue, Andy Heck is top five offensive line coach of the NFL. He's the the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line coach. Mm-hmm. When those cats had all their top O linemen healthy, nobody got by them motherfuckers. Period. They had a top and he, ten. And I'm, sitting there, and I'm sitting there watching Kansas City's O line do exactly everything we did in Jacksonville hey, Uche, for the six Uche, years Uche, he was in Jacksonville. Uche, Uche, what what makes a good offensive line coach? A good offensive line coach understands how to teach your linemen how to use their angles and how to use, how to generate their power and how to control the defender. You don't control the defender by, by pushing him. You control the defender by driving him. And when you Mm -hmm. drive a defender, you drive him. This is how you drive him. You get one hit. Like if I want to get Aaron Donald to the, if I want to get him outside, I'm going to take a, Hard, fast, out, uh, outside zone step, like to my left, and I'm, and then he's going to react to that because he's a D lineman. He's going to react quick. I'm going to show my outside arm, and once he starts to try and once he starts to try and push through, I'm going to mm-hmm. get under his pad with my inside arm and lift him up and move him out outward. I'm not going to push him. I'm going to lift him. That's how you get on. That's how you get guys out the way. Like, dude, I went up against. Cat from Buffalo. Who's the white? Paul Williams. Damn. From Buffalo. Defensive tackle. Uh-huh. Bruh. I had him crying to the referee because I caked him three times in a row. He kept <laughs> trying to like do a quick shed. And as soon as he would try to shed, I would turn the wheel. Dump his ass. And just go with his shed and just drive him into the ground. And he'd just get up and go into the ref. I'm like, bruh, I've been watching your film. I know you like that move. And so, okay. Jarrell Casey. Jarrell Casey. Okay. Is as close to a to Aaron Donald as a defensive tackle has been in the last few years. Jarrell Casey didn't get a tackle pressure hit on the quarterback when he played me. He didn't get a contract him, this year, right? Uh-uh. Bro, he's done. He's, he's like crazy. thirty-seven, right? He's like thirty-seven. Man, nah. so what? Yeah, Jarrell Casey's older. He's up. No, there. no, because he he would no, because when I was uh, well, he might no, no, no. He's in his thirties. He's not that old though. Nah, bro, I'm thirty-seven. Casey. Would you say Aaron Donald right now is the best DT in the league, though? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'd say I wouldn't argue against that. Oh shit, he's only thirty-two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't even get a contract. Yeah, that's crazy. He's done. Like that's that's what that means. He's done. Hey, you, hey, you remember when Beast? But that dude was like his, his rookie him. year. He had eleven sacks. Beast mode trucked him. Oh, Beast mode truck Casey something. Cold. He went from Denver. I think his last game was in Tennessee, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Uh. No. He he went to Denver, but then he got he got released. I thought. Oh, he went back. To, I thought he went to Tennessee. The Jarrell Casey, released. right? Yeah. I thought he got released from Tennessee. He got released from Tennessee. He went to Denver and he got released. Denver, from there. Yep. there you go. He was because he was drafted to Tennessee. Yeah, Damn. bruh. That's like that's. What, I don't know how he didn't get paid. He was like the best defensive tackle in the league his rookie year. Yeah, he was nice. I mean, I was watching film. He was dirty, folks. And uh, from where guards, where but he. Right? You said what? Would you say USC? Yeah, yeah, that's right. USC boy. Would you say that a guy like DeForest Buckner size at six seven is easier or harder to block than a guy at six two, six three? Uh. Hey, can I? Hainsworth was like six seven. Can I make a suggestion on on that one? I would think a smaller guy would be harder to block. Yeah, smaller guys. I I didn't like squatty guys because. Squatty guys, yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah. if he's a, if he knows how to use that squattiness, it's a it's fucking annoying because yeah, that he's gonna try and shed back. you like like uh yeah. Paul Williams, like that motherfucker would do that shed and shit. And if you aren't ready for it, you're gonna be you're either gonna get called for holding because you're gonna drag off of him, 
or he just gonna go flying into the knees of your other lineman. And I mean, shit, I've had that happen to me where a motherfucker gets thrown into my damn knees because they like, can't ass, fucking what block. What do you do it right? Like you just piss out your. <laughs> yeah, that shit right? pissed me off. I almost hey, hey, ended hey, my hey, night. You you have some favorite guards in the league now? Or do you still pay attention to it to everything going on? Uh, Zach Martin. Zach Martin is 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 a, okay. is is. I mean, I mean, I know him, but what about yeah. Big Q? Um, he's good. Uh, I think Q is is good too. Like Q is the kind of player that you know. I I mean, I feel like I was I was a little bit faster than he was, a little bit more. And he's a little fast. bit. He's fast, but he's a mauler. I, I mean, yeah, I feel like me and him was kind of the same kind of style. I just like think I feel, I feel like I was a little bit more dirt. I was a little bit more, a little bit more raw with it though. I try to mauler. fuck niggas up. A mauler. <laughs> I like that. A mauler. You grab him and yeah, I, I was a mauler. Yes. Like it's, if I get like once I get my hands inside on the chest plate. Bruh, because usually, again, because the way I was taught, I come, I, I do my, when I do my block, I come upward. My, uh, my block comes upward from mm -hmm. under. Yeah, yeah. I don't shoot out Lift like that up. when I'm trying to block somebody running. I'm coming under them and grabbing their shit and lifting them up lifting them so up, they ain't got yeah. no leverage. Yeah. Then I'm throwing them out the club. Mm -hmm. And linebackers, oh, man. I, I would hey, sneak up on linebackers because they think they ran by me, but they don't know. That the running back is going to continue to stretch until I make contact. Then he's going to cut back. So I'll just be yeah. running, running, running. Linebacker don't see me. I'm like, here I come, bitch. Hmm. And as soon as he hey, plant that what, leg, what, boom. What if you keep your hands on the safety? You you know what's sad, though, is that I don't feel like the Raiders got one lineman with that attitude. Bro, that's like, that's how we live, bro. See, the thing is, the old lineman in the league ain't like that no more. That's Everybody sad as fuck, bro. Everybody want to be fucking cute. Bro, I came in the last few years of the OGs. These motherfuckers okay. who no, you're right. wore the Thurman Thomas face mask still. Yeah, yeah. These motherfuckers, oh, if you wore anything on your body in cold weather, they would shame you. Yeah. Like, you fucking coward. Box or fucking <laughs> we played in Cleveland. It was negative 13. I'm an MF. All I got is my shoulder pads on. I ain't got no shirt under my pads. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I thought I was being tough, but it's cold as shit out here, but... You know, you ignore that shit after hey, a few but, minutes. But Uche, what happened if you got your hands on a fucking safety? Safeties usually, a few times I run into them, like, I mean, this is back when they kind of let you put your hands in their face. I would literally, boom, stiff arm the shit out their face every time. <laughs> if I got near them, because they're too hard to, like, reach and grab, because they'd move around, they just, they'd be out the way. Whoa. So if they come downhill and they commit, I'd just be like, Oh, oh shit. Boom, bitch. And hit them. I do the E Honda. I do the E Honda. On the e -Honda. And they just be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what the fuck to do. Hey, hey Uch, who, was, who was an underrated defensive lineman during your days? Uh, underrated. Good question. Um, Richie Incognito about the same age, Wes. Yeah, they are the same age. 37. Well, uh, Richie's 38. I mean, honestly, dude, man, I played against a lot of pro bowlers, dude. And, I mean, it was like they was all good. Like, only one who was garbage was Jay Ratliff. Damn, Jay Ratliff. He was garbage. <laughs> I was – uh, and I will say this. I don't know about now, but Indomitian Sue was garbage. I, I was like, wait, wait this nigga don't want to play? I, I don't like him. I've never liked him. He's a <laughs> Whoa, he hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the Detroit days. Yeah, Dude, this is like his, he, his second year in Detroit. Dirty, he's a dirty player. He's a fucking. He is dirty. dirty. That I mean, bro, I went into that game with the mindset of I was going to fight this nigga. I was like, we're if if this nigga touches me, <laughs> we're gonna fight. And I don't. And I already told my online call. I said, look, Andy, if this nigga, because you told he was like, oops, don't take no shit from this motherfucker. I'm like, hey, I said, hey, believe you me, if this motherfucker tried to do some shit, I'm getting kicked out the game. <laughs> so just whoever's the backup, nigga. Pay attention in, 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 in game plan this week. Because if he does anything, I like was getting mad before the game. Like, I'm a hit. Like, I'm ready to fight right now. Yeah. Let's go. Well, I mean, what, but what, he never said a word to me. He never said a word talking? to me. He never. He, I was. I thought he was like on a. I thought. I really thought that he might have taken some medication before the game because I was like, this motherfucker is like lethargic. Like, I'm over here just shoving him. I'm shoving him. I'm blocking. He didn't do shit the whole game. His worst game of the season, play pro football focus. Worst game of the season was against me. Oh, he had his worst game good. of the season against me. Uh, Jarrell Casey had his worst game of the season against me. 
Uh, BJ Raji had his first game, his worst game of the season against Damn. me. Boston College. Uh, and uh, J- uh, Jay Ratliff did not even, he didn't even uh, record a stat against me. He didn't record a single hey, stat. Uche, Uche, where'd you go to college? What you mean, baby? Boilering up, baby. Purdue. What you mean? <laughs> I gotta ask. So, how, I mean, you know, you... I was in Jacksonville, dude, so nobody knew who the fuck I was because of, of nobody in the media. Everybody in the league, they knew, they knew who the fuck I was. Yeah. Motherfuckers would come up. Old Lyman would come up to me after games. We played San Diego. Old Lyman came up to me like, bro, we've been watching you on the film all year. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, nigga, we're one and eight. One and eight. They're like, bro. He's like, bro, I know the season's been rough, but we've been seeing you on film and you've been fucking working, guys. I'm like, Andy, what was your Thanks. No, I was about to ask, how do you, do you like the way that PFF grades Old Lyman? Fuck no. Them motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they doing. Them niggas be grading on some bullshit. Come on, bro. Listen. I don't give a fuck what they say. Nobody is grading out at a 90 plus every single week. If you don't know what play they're running, if you don't know what their assignments are, how can you grade them? Yeah. You don't know what techniques they're supposed to use on that play. On our grade sheets... There are specific techniques you're supposed to use on on plays. This is yep. the technique you're supposed to use in this category of plays. Definitely. They don't know that, but we get graded on that. If mm-hmm. you don't use the right footwork, they take the grade. They they take points. The doc- if you don't use the right the right technique in blocking, they take points. The doc- I mean, they don't know who you're going to. So how the fuck can they grade that? They don't know what what techniques you're supposed to use. So how can they grade you? How can they say you're doing exactly what the coaches have instructed you to do? Just because you made the play doesn't mean that you actually graded out well on that play. That's crazy. That is crazy. Did you play the Raiders? Uh, yeah, we played in Oakland the last year in Oakland. Or no, my bad, not the last year. <laughs> it was uh, 2013. We played in Oakland. Who did you Tony say? Tony Pashos best? was my old teammate in Jacksonville, and he was y'all's tackle. Who or, was it? I think he was uh, Tony Pashos. Oh, okay. Okay. Who, who would Greek you say is the the hardest Raider player that you went up against on the D line? I didn't even know who the motherfuckers were, to be honest. That, that was a, that was a bad team. Hey, of course me. I know. I, I know. I was just. I chopped a couple of them motherfuckers down. I'm. <laughs> I mean, I'm running thirty yards down the field, pushing niggas on screen. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck these hey, niggas are. Me, me, asshole. Me. No, it's about 2013, motherfucker. I'm like, no, yo, I, I don't know who. I, no, I played against him his fucking rookie year. Shit, who else? I mean, Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett's another cat that I bodied. I bodied him on the first play of the game. He got mad yeah, and punched Michael me. Michael Bennett. He got mad and punched me. I was like, "You a bitch." I said, "Okay, I got something for you, motherfucker." Damn, this roster is terrible right here. I'm looking at it. Man, right watching now. that cat's film, Michael Bennett is such a fucking blowhard. He tries to fucking come off the ball like a maniac, but if you put something on his ass, he gets mad that you touched that you hit him. That you're being mm-hmm. physical. I'm like, look at this football. What the fuck you mean? So mm-hmm. we got a choice to like choose when we want to cut because uh we had a lot of three step in that game because mm-hmm. our tackles were both backups that week. And we had Lamar uh, Houston. I'm not we had Lamar Houston at that time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not trying to motherfucking deal with this. Oh, C but, Wood was still there. C Wood was still there. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm talking about uh, Seattle. We played Seattle oh, the, the week after. Uh, oh, oh, gotcha. We got because we were in Oakland. We played Oakland, then we went straight to Seattle and played Seattle. Hey, let me but, ask you um, this, Uche. When when you were going up, who did you like model uh, after? Or who? Yeah, I was a defensive end. Mm. So I, I was trying to I was trying to be like Sap growing up. Shit. I was trying to be like Sap. I thought I was going to be DT when I got to Purdue, and them motherfuckers. Was was like, yeah, we're gonna try to get you in this three point right. stance. What'd you, what'd you, I was <laughs> like, niggas, I'm transferring. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, shit. And the injury? Did the injury take you out, Ultra? You just just walked away from the game. Man, I fucked my right knee up. Oh, the Jaguars fucked my right knee up. Uh, I tore my cartilage, and really. You know, I was a cat who wasn't finna wear no damn brace because mm. I didn't even tape my ankles. You I never, never tape my ankles. You never wore the fucking uh, the outside braces? No. I never wore no, no nothing. Spat, no, no nothing? 
No, no I wore my socks and my shoes. Because I want to be, because I need, I need my mobility because I'm fat, because I was athletic. You know, I was a guard who could, who they, I was pulling in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm running out on linebackers, safeties, and, uh, and trying, and the, the fucked up part for me was that I fucking blew, I like, I didn't blow my knee out, but I tore the cartilage yeah. and tore the meniscus in the first day of training camp because yeah. of Tyson Alu Alu's out of control yeah. ass. When I, and I, and I knew it because I was like, I do not want to go against this cat right now. It was one on ones mm -hmm. before practice started. I'm doing like, too I'm much. Like, I'm not ready. He's yep. just doing too much, yep. and he caught yep. his knee hit my knee while my knee was extended, Tink. and it just tore my shit. And I, I didn't, I hurt, and like I took a minute, and then I came back in. I'm like, fuck, but I didn't really. It, it was weird. The pain, the actual pain that really like affected like just playing because I had to like get shot up. They would give me shots before every game. Like, bro, I'm not though. playing without the shot. Quarter. And yeah. uh, and. Wait. I was, it was like the day before, the day before our game against Minnesota, first game of the season is when it started to hurt. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, why can't I pass that? Every time I put pressure on it, my shit felt like it just collapsed. No. Mm. So like they did an x-ray. Yeah, they was like, nigga, you got a divot in your shit. Hey, so Tyson shit, still I played the whole season. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Tyson still yeah. played. Yeah. He got, it was yeah. crazy. Coincidentally, he got injured against us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, he broke his leg. Yeah. Um, shout out to, the, shout out to the, almost 400 people in the chat, you guys. Wipe them feet, hit them thumbs Ooh, up. Right 400 people in here? Yeah. Yep. Oh, Put yeah. a shirt back on, Mom. No, I'm playing. Fucking 140 in the morning. <laughs> hey, did it, didn't Denzel Good play a whole series with a blown out ACL? Yep. Yep. <sighs> Week one. Bro, I played the whole season on a fucking torn meniscus, torn a cartilage. Torn he, 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 the whole season <laughs> went, went, went. Bro. I, it was I, like I, I wanted to almost ask to get traded after that season. I was like, man, I don't want to play here no more because it was Mike Malarkey was our head coach. I was like, man, fuck this shit. Let me out. <laughs> this motherfucker is the. Did, did you have what did you have left in your contract when you walked away, or, or was your contract up? I had uh, one more year on my contract, but that, but that was that was the twelve million dollar year. <laughs> it was like no. Nah. <laughs> Oh, that's some cold shit, bro. Right before you get that that roster bonus too. Like I was like two days from like a two million dollar roster bonus. I was and I was like putting my bags in the car to drive back up to Jacksonville. And bitches called me on the phone. It was, you know, his business. I mean, you know, it's it's really when you get a new head coach, new GM, and I already yeah. played a season with him, yeah. but they were just really on that bullshit. So I was like, hey, you know, it is hey, what it you, is. You, you see that we hired uh Antonio Pierce today as our linebackers coach. That's a good hire. You like that? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a good hire. That's, that's good. Okay. So that's a cat who was a former player too. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, like it's Richard's always good to get guys sport. who played the game, bro. You, you, if you get a guy who played, and I mean, when I say played, a motherfucker was out there. One, yeah. Like, I tell you what, I don't respect. I don't respect the coach who acts like he was out there, and then when you go check their career, the nigga never played. He was on the bench. I'd be like, nigga, don't you ever talk to me about doing shit. I had more starts than you had in your career halfway through my rookie year. Yep. Talk that shit. Uh, this is year seven. Hey, hey OG, hey, OG said you look like, like melted ice cream still. <laughs> <laughs> hey, OJ, what did you think about Richard Seymour's play? Fuck, no, fuck you. Hold on a second. You know I, what's, you know what's I, funny, I, man? I only played no, against Richard no. Seymour okay. Okay, hold on one, second. one time. And that motherfucker hit me in my shit like hard. And I was like, God damn. I was a young player. This was like my what, my second year. In your asshole? Well, my second year, yeah. And uh this motherfucker just hit me with like, he got mad. He, like, I didn't understand. He got mad because I hit him. He got mad because I like hemmed him up and ran with him. Mm. And then he just said, Yeah. Hey, God still, damn. Side shit. Hey, you know how you know how I know Uchi uh, he's known you for a long time, bro. He knows how to ignore you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, though. No, so, go back to your freshman year at Purdue. This motherfucker, man. Okay, I'm there. <laughs> go to our house during that winter storm. Oh God, the first time I ever saw snow. Yes. Actually, <laughs> real snow, not cocaine. 
real snow. Yeah, like 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 the snow that accumulated, and then all of a sudden it was damn near halfway up y'all's little outdoor pool y'all had in the back. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, they told me it didn't snow here. <laughs> so we're, we're 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 playing Mortal Kombat, right? Oh shit! And I'm fucking. Uh, here we go. This is the story. He go. He walking through everybody in the fucking in the fucking house. Yep. So here, here comes freshman Uche. What are we eighteen? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I'm like the fucking senior big dog motherfucker, right? I'm fucking. Nah, this was your junior year, right? This was your junior year. Your senior year was 2003, right? Yeah, because that's when the whole defense got drafted. That was when the, our yes. whole defense got drafted, except for one player. Everybody got drafted. Yep. So we're pl- I'm playing Mortal Kombat, and all of a sudden Uche gets on the sticks. PlayStation is laying the wood on this bitch ass nigga. PS2. <laughs> no, so he started laying the wood. He started getting hot. He started stopped. He stopped talking. He started just staring <laughs> at the screen. His face started getting a little bit red. Yo. And I'm just over here like. <laughs> Oh, and I'm not gonna talk no shit because he he's no. getting ready to start he's getting ready to start cussing. <laughs> no, so then so then all of a sudden he's like Scorpion, he fucking rips my fucking head off and fucking throws it and I'm like <laughs> He well, hey he's he stomped up out of there too. He yeah. did. No, 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 no. He goes, Uche, fuck you, motherfucker. I said, Hey. I said, listen, motherfucker, you're in my fucking goddamn so house. You fucking, you fucking freshman. You fucking, that's what yeah. I said, you fucking freshman. If you want to come over here and fucking run some shit, you better fucking check yourself, motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> like, motherfucker, you don't come said, in here and win. I said, I don't, I don't know who in the fuck you think you're talking to, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to and I'll fucking whoop your fucking ass. <laughs> and Uche, no, Uche goes, okay. And then this other dude named Jamal Wilson was like, yeah, Stuart and I fucking took him and choked his fucking ass. But fucking <laughs> Uche was like, all right. That, I, that, I will uh, just, I'll just make my exit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was Robert Jackson there still at the time? He just kind of fucking just. Drop the controller and just kind of just <laughs> floated away. <laughs> hey, hey, still was Robert Jackson there at the time? Remember, Rob? We brought yes. Him yes. Okay. It was a running back, I believe. Yes. Where, where the hell has Rob been? I haven't seen him in the chat or nothing like I know. that. I, I, hey, I, hey, guys, I got, I got to jump up out of here, man. I, it's all love, brother. Appreciate you. I got to jump up out of here. I, 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 I fucking, him. hey, man. Hey, hey, Stu, anytime you want me to come on, dude, just shoot me a text. Well, no, I, I know. Dude, no, hey, listen. I mean, we I've been seeing y'all motherfuckers. Hey, y'all drunk. be going on late as a motherfucker too, though, because sometimes it'd be like two thirty in the morning, and I'd be like, he goes on, on YouTube, and there you motherfuckers just went live five minutes ago. I'm like, God damn! I'm never on this late, so I, I just yeah. came on because I know how school <laughs> is, man. So. <laughs> nah, but I appreciate you, Coach. We definitely hey, want to say hey, something. Hey, 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 thank you so much, man. For real. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Anytime, bro. Just let me know. I'll come through. Right. I'll come Love through. you. All, All right, right, man. Love you too, man. See y'all later, bro. All right, brother. Yeah. Shout out to Ooch, man. Came through, and his link is in the comment section, you guys. Yeah, he came through like a motherfucker, dude. Yeah, Uche, cool, man. Uche always active. I always see him on on on, on YouTube. Hey, all the time. Here's the thing, though. Y'all y'all even knew each other, bro. Bro, I bro. As crazy as it sounds. Uche used to be my manager, bro. That's crazy as fuck, dude. I walked in the house right now. Guess what I said to my wife? I said, babe. I said, Uche. I said, I said, anchor down. She said, no fucking way. I was like, yes. Like, I used to kick it with, bro, me and him used to run down on people in the parking lot for money. We used to run down on motherfuckers. That's crazy, bro. I'm like, that's a, it's a small ass world. And when I seen him the last time when we were on the live, I was looking like. Well, you said that you're like I, I, I recognize I this, this motherfucker. I know him, yeah. bro, and, and, and I know Edon. I, I thought it was just from like the NFL, like no, but bro, his his spot used to crack. What I mean to tell you, this was the place to go to in Atlanta. He told me it was. I used to hate going there after after the after the other nightclubs. I'm like, this shit is gonna be crazy. Six seven in the morning, bro. People still in there fucking drinking and it's just that, fucking crazy. Well, that's why he was like, he's like, stupid. man, I had to shut the shit down, man, because I, I just couldn't fucking do it no more. Bro, I don't know how he, I don't know how he kept it open even that long because it, it was insane, bro. Like, I've never, that I could say this, I've been around the world, bro, 
That is the craziest fucking club I've ever seen in my life. He told me he's like, dude, everyone was in there. Yeah. Everyone was in there. Atlanta is the place to be, though. Like, yeah. but bro, I used to be at, I used to work at Magic City, all the spots. Magic City Monday, hell oh, yeah. No. But Anchor Down was the craziest shit. Was it really? Bro, we, we had to pull guns on somebody every night, bro. Yeah, like, you know why? Purdue boy. That's what. But what, what's funny was like, like, like Ooch said though. Ooch would walk into the into the office and just sit in there. He, he would go in the office for the rep for the whole night because he didn't want to deal with all the fuck shit. So Edon, his business partner, was the one that would come out and about because Ooch was like, "Man, I'm not dealing with none of this shit." So he did, he was doing that while he was playing ball. No, he was retired. Oh, yeah, you know, he, yeah, he was retired. Yeah. yeah. So, so so he's only 37. He retired at what age? Uh, because this was at least five years ago. Or no longer 2000, than 2015, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think right it, when I was there was the year he left the game. He literally left it. Because he told me the story about um him being in Jacksonville the pri the previous year, and he was like, Man, I'm done. He's I'm done with this shit. Yeah. Yeah, so but that was crazy, bro. Like, so he wasn't running it while he played. No, no, no. Yeah, no. It was after. It was after. That would have been some fucking boss motherfucking shit if he was. Yeah. Nah, bro. But but I, that's where I met Kalechi at. Where I met Assembly, bro. I met him there. Um, at his at his club. I used to meet everybody in that motherfucker, bro. Like for real. Like I used to be networking. I used to be handing my CDs to everybody in that shit. Like so real talk. Hey, go back though to. When I was 22, we got to get DP on the uh, Donald Penn, bro. In college, right? I'm reaching out to him tonight, bro. And that'll Uche, be so fucking. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna do it. And, and Uche was a freshman at 18 playing Mortal Kombat, and he like fatality me. And I said, and he was like, I said, I, I said, listen, motherfucker, you better <laughs> your fucking mouth, motherfucker. <laughs> Like I was, I wasn't playing that shit. And bro, that shit is fucking comedy, bro. And, and, bro, so you no, see the motherfucker that got your, they got you shirtless as his profile pic, right? That shit is fucking Ooh. hilarious. Magic yeah. Stu, look at that. <laughs> he said I was adjusting my camel toe. <laughs> look at that, look. <laughs> bro, oh, uh, you gotta get the fuck out of here, Stu. What? This motherfucker. Hey, this is this is this is Captain Morgan Stu right here, bro. I'm telling you, it's the same Stu we had in Vegas. Motherfucker's crazy, bro. I, I got a couple more minutes, man. I'm about to get the fuck out of here, man. I'm coming this up on funny, bro. We went from, bro, what did we even start talking? We went from Rob Ryan to fucking getting bum ass quarterbacks in the fourth round to, to <laughs> this shit was funny, dog. Hey, this was the, uh, this might be the craziest live because we were just all over the fucking place. Hey, but this is the off season, bro. Remember what we did last year? We used to do that, bro. We used to be all over the place too, bro. You already know how this shit goes, like Nork, bro. But we we do gotta figure out how to get the um that shit yeah. where where we uh watching a film together, bro. Let, bro, right. I, we need I need to call you anyway. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We'll, we'll work on it and try to figure that shit out. Yeah. Still, what the fuck is that? You got some some OG Cortez or some shit? What the fuck? Yeah, this motherfucker, man. See, That's before a before he gets in the frame, you would think he was Mexican. Oh God, with the shoes on. Motherfucker like some Ben Davis, some flooded Ben Davis is this shit. This motherfucker was crazy. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I can't believe that we're damn near still with 400 deep already. Davis? That shit is crazy, bro. It's two two in the morning right now where I am. This motherfucker is God damn. SJ said so y'all three need to hop on the live again soon. We definitely will, SJ. We got you, brother. We got sure. you. Hey man, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I gotta I gotta wake up in a few hours and take my kids to fucking school, man. Shit. Um, Andy, love you, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, it was good having y'all on, man. It's always you, you already know. Bro, we got to put this shit together again, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then we got to get the one with me, you, and wasted, and and, and hammer, bro. Yeah. No, we gotta bro, make. Let's let's talk in the chat tonight and try to because I know Hammer's still up. He, he in the chat too, but bro, I, I'm gonna I'm pass the fuck up. out, bro. They got me running the store this whole week, bro. So hey, we gotta, get some, hey, get some rest, bro. For real. Yeah. Now we definitely got to put a show together with all three of us. I I, I promise y'all. Still gonna go live right now. I'll start doing some wild shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm I'm going live right now for real. Shout out to everybody <laughs> in the chat, man. And and these are two of my favorite people in the world. You guys, make sure you go subscribe to my brothers, man. Raiders football talk. 
Fuck that one up. Top. Yo, this motherfucker is crazy. This motherfucker look like a trucker, bro. That shit is crazy. He got the hat and all the shit. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to go live. Everybody, after party at Stu's, man. Go to, I, go to the I, after party at Stu's, man. Yeah, hey, I'm going to get with you, Andy. We, we got to talk about that, bro. Yeah, we real. got to, bro. All right, my brother. I'm going to catch you soon. All right. All right. Well.